back for another one for you. Um, today's topic is how to deal with a woman who is into you. And what this means is, it's a woman like you, and she's been uh, watching you for a long period of time, they're giving you uh, choosing signals, and you kind of know that she likes you, and you kind of know, okay, this lady, I, know, I think she really likes me, but where I go from there? What you do, you don't panic. What you do, you, you gradually uh, uh, talk to her. Let her know that do you actually earn my time and my attention, first of all, okay, before you go any further with this lady, make sure she's not. Uh, I saw somebody came in and left. Can you please leave a like on the video? Uh, let her know that are you worthy my time to 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 hang out or to talk with her talk to talk with me and do certain things with me and not waste my time I, I made a video a couple of hours ago about not allow award how to waste time with women because women will waste your time same thing as a man a man will waste your time if you let him okay so when you have a woman who's into you and you see everything is pretty going good she pretty much taxing you uh, not all the time, but maybe two or three times in a week. And maybe you, not that you forgot to text her, but you kind of got big and she texts you out of the blue, say, hi, hey, what's going on? So you wait within 15 to 20 minutes or half an hour before you, before you uh, text her. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, uh, um, wait too long, especially if she's into you. Okay. It's not that she goes start talking to somebody else. It's that uh, if she, you know, she into you. So you really don't have to really, do a long drawn out delaying not to contact her. Uh, hey, just stopping by. Thank you, Charles Gilmore. I appreciate the dessert. I saw you in Color Girl uh, TV this morning, satisfying uh, ASMR for you. Hey, uh, thank you uh, for coming into the live. I know you can't stay that long. If I can have a little bit of your time, I know Charles Gilmore said so he just stopping in to say hi. Uh, uh, thank you for stopping in, even if you only been here for like a couple of minutes. A minute or two. I'm still grinding. I just came out of a busy live today. I think it was being all outdoors and fun fanatic. Yeah, I was in there live today. I wasn't going to go, but uh, you got my time. I understand. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gil, uh, Charles Gilmar the third. I appreciate it. Uh, today topic I'm talking about. I wasn't going to do a topic. I was going to do a part two of Happy Friday or since it's Friday night. It's on the 9th, uh, 9.30 or 9.31. It's still early. It's not even 10 o'clock yet, but it's going on 10 o'clock. I appreciate those who are staying. If you can't stay, I, I, I totally understand, okay? But I start, I'm, I think I'm going to start changing up a little bit and start doing like, uh, uh, I, I don't really do motivation stuff. I don't really believe in that. I really believe in just doing, just doing what you got to do. Put God first and God will always motivate you, okay? Charles, Charles Gilmore. It is 6.34 p.m. where I am at California. Yeah, California. Yeah, a couple hours different. I'm in Connecticut. It is 9.33, I think, or 9.35 in Connecticut. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's different time. Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. So, um, yeah, so um, when you start doing things, when you see a woman that's into you, and you don't want to overdo it, but when you see her texting you, and saying hi, good morning. Wait at least 15, 20 minutes, okay? Before you apply. Let her know, even though you know her, she's into you, but don't seem you don't want to seem desperate. Return her text within 18 seconds. That's not good. Do what you do. I have nothing but respect for you. I want everybody to do what they need to do for themselves. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. I got respect for you too, sir. I got respect and I mad respect for you. Uh, you know, I, I've been watching you going in the uh, other live and, um, you know, CC Uncut, Glam Beauty, and I think Robert Banks, which is another good one, part of the family. Uh, Farm Fanatic, being being Outdoor, Coco Van Lo, Van, Van Coco, I think I'm saying it right, probably saying it wrong. And then we got some new people, Carla Rose, she's new. I had met some new people here uh, this morning when I went live, I think it's the Dream Family, Gigi, and a couple of other new people. Yeah, I met them live. I never saw them before. Uh, this morning, I put uh, Happy Friday, come and say hi. And, and I had a bunch of new people came in this morning. Okay, so I gave my mind a, a break from topics 
and I will go do it tonight. I will go do, do a second uh, a second thing about Happy Friday, okay? Which is Friday night. I got three people watching. Uh, well, three people. If you can come into here and leave a leave a comment, stay as uh, much as you can. I like the conversation in chat, but most people are on the grind. On the grind, I try to get people to engage in talking, but it's a slow roll. Yeah, it is. Hey, DD. Tonight, my last night on YouTube, everyone, not working out. Well, you you have to make it work, DD. You have to make it work. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. You can't make YouTube work. Don't give up. Okay. Don't give up. Uh, stay on your grind. And like just like Charles Gilmore said, uh, we try to get conversation into the chat, but a lot of people just worry about being monetized. I, you know, to be honest with you, I do want to get monetized, but at the same time, I love to share my knowledge with people. Okay. I do like to get monetized, but it's not going to happen overnight. You got to be patient. I understand it's a progress. It takes about a month or so for them to monetize you. Even if you did had your watch hours, you still have to wait. And yeah, and you had your views. Uh, tonight on last night on YouTube, everyone not working out. Uh, Charles says, I like the conversation in chat, but most people are on their grind. Correct. I try to get people to engage in talking, but it's a slow roll. What do you mean by it's not working? Uh, uh, Didi, Charles, actually, what, what do you mean by it don't work? I think everybody has a different motive for being on YouTube. Correct. Uh, Charles Gilmore the third. I'll come to YouTube to have fun. Correct. Brother King, I think there are a lot of people on YouTube who really don't like YouTube. Correct. 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 I agree with Charles. Um, Charles Gilmore the third. He said a lot of people on YouTube doesn't like YouTube. And that's true. I have I had did combos where I had people say, hey guys, I'm done. Uh, YouTube now is just a it, it's just a hobby. In other words, just like a hobby. It's just like something that it it it, it fill your your interest. It stops you from being bored at certain things. But one time in life, we all go get tired of and go say, you know what? I got monetized, but I'm so sick and tired of YouTube now. Because I'm so sick and tired of seeing the same thing, YouTube changing, YouTube making it more uh, harder now to be monetized, but you got to keep the faith and keep going. I'm not knocking anyone for trying to make money. I want you to make money, but first you need to learn to enjoy YouTube. Correct. That's right. That's what I'm doing, Charles. I know it's, I know mod uh, I know monetization is not going to happen overnight, but in the meanwhile, I'm going to talk and get to know people on a personal level, such as Charles Gilmore, Dee Dee, and a couple other people, Coco, uh, C uh, CC Uncut, Collar Girl TV, Being All Outdoors, Fun Fanatic. Yeah, that's how we're supposed to do. We're supposed to learn one another, uh, not just only to make money, but to enjoy YouTube. I love YouTube. I love learning about other people. I love to hear what other people have to say. If money comes that great, correct. I agree with you. That's facts. What? What I do lack like is that there are so many deep people who really love people that have something to say. I want to hear what you have to say. Correct. I agree with uh, Charles Gilmore. There's always something that uh, someone can say to encourage someone or to learn from or to get information. I agree with it. I want everyone who wants to grow their page to grow their page. However, don't stop being you because you are not reaching your subscriber goal. Be yourself and have fun with YouTube. Correct. That's why I, that's why I try to tell my friend Gigi. I mean, not Gigi. Uh, uh, Didi is it, it, more than just getting. It's it more than just getting monetized. It's more than just getting monetized. Of course, if you get monetized, so be it. Happy for you. Congratulations. Now create content, but at the same time, I'm here having fun. While I'm, while I'm, while I'm queuing up my, um, trying to get my watch hours up, but I'm not gonna let it stress me out because guess what? You know what I'm saying? I got enough time. I will get my chance. I will get my shot to get my modification. But right now, I'm not gonna sweat it. If I don't get 86 people in my chat, so be it. I learned, Mr. Charles Gilmore, to use what God had gave me. Uh, this morning, I had about 13 people in my life. That's the most. That's the most I had in my life since I went on. Uh, 
went on um, uh, online. And then CC Uncut sent a raid over a couple of days ago. Thanks, thanks be to God. She kind of sent some people over to come over to help me out with my watch time. I also appreciate CC Uncut. I totally agree with you. If no one watching any of my video, I am going to still be happy because I am putting out my voice. Correct. That's the thing, man. It just like it just like anything else. Just like the word of God. You can preach the word of God until you blew in the face, in the face. But God gives the increase, as Paul told Apollo. Um, God, one water, God, one plant, but God gives the increase. Same way as we doing it now. I can sit here and talk to you about how to deal with a woman who's into you and how not to move fast with the relationship, but you have to uh, be you who you are. Don't change the way you are for this woman. If you used to doing a certain thing every Thursday, don't change your uh, your your uh, your plan for this woman. Okay, I I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I already told women that I that I dated. Look, that's what I do every Friday and every Saturday. I'm not changing. Now, if you don't like it, that's too bad. Okay, that's that's what I tell them. I just want to love people. I would never say that I don't want to be successful. Correct. I agree with it. Facts. As far as earning money on YouTube, but I would rather have great people and get no money than getting money. Correct. So uh, I understand what Charles Gilmore is saying. He said, I'd rather have great people, which is mean people who who, who is loyalty, who is honest about things, who want to share their, uh, their, uh, their input and knowledge and and their experiences with themselves in the past. It's more than just uh, earning money on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You can still have money and not be happy. Let's say hypothetical, if you're not on YouTube and monetize, let's say you just born with a, uh, a rich boom in your mouth. You're always miserable. You're always complaining. you always, to me, if you're not happy, money cannot back. Sure, money can get you, money can pay your bills. It can get you what you want, but it can't buy your love. It can't buy your happiness. Why? Because it's materialistic. Yes, we need money to survive, to pay bills, to get food and buy clothes and sell stuff and to fix our house, but it won't make you happy. Okay? I, and he said, I would rather to, uh, he said, I would rather no money and people who love me than make money and have people who don't enjoy what I do. There is a purpose for me being on YouTube, and that is to love and have fun. Correct. I agree with you. That's the purpose of him. Uh, he said that's the purpose of him being on YouTube. Life is about finding your happy place and being able to help others, help other people. I am not saying to sacrifice yourself, but add something to someone else's life. Correct. Facts. That's right. If you can't talk good, like they always say, you can't say anything nice about nobody. Don't say nothing at all. So basically what Charles Gilman said, you have to bless others. Be generous. I was saying, and I thank you for bringing that up, Charles Gilmar. Um, I said that in my video this morning, in my Happy Friday video, uh, come and say hi. I was telling people before I had closed the live, the live podcast that to be negative, be uh, uh, not negative, I'm sorry, be positive. And be generous, okay? Be generous to people. You know, be, 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 as God had came down and once before and been generous to those, let us be generous to people, okay? It's, you see somebody out on the, on, on the street, you know, haven't had food for a couple of hours, be generous. Ask them, offer to buy them uh, uh, some breakfast or lunch or something. You know what I'm saying? Be generous, all right? Uh, not even that. You see somebody who break down the side of the road, and he he seems like he he he's safe and not a threat. Be generous. Offer him offer to uh, have a triple A to come out and tow his car or to put a wheel on his car. Because I had saw people did that. They've been generous. Okay, Didi. You know I haven't saw you in a while, and um, I, I, I would like to I would like to talk to you when you get a chance if you're still on here. I show I got one watching, two likes. Uh, Dee Dee popped in and said she's she's done with YouTube, but I want to encourage Dee Dee to stay to stay where she at. And it's not all about being monetized; it's about just having fun, as Charles Gilmore said. And that's what I'm doing until I be monetized and, and until I get my watch hours. I'm not gonna worry about it. I will I will wait on the email that Google will send me. Okay, 
That's the only thing I can do. I already applied for it. All I got to do now is wait. I did my part. I just got to wait for them to say, okay, you've been monetized. But it's more than just that. I love, uh, I've, uh, I've been doing videos on YouTube since 2011. And I, at that time, I wasn't even thinking about being monetized. I just love uploading videos at that time of video games or Mortal Kombat and MKX. I didn't care about no money. Everybody was saying, you should be monetized. But at the time, I didn't care because I enjoyed doing it. Because I, I love to put a, a smile on people's face. I love seeing people comment and feedback on the video that I put up. Not, I'm not saying D-Live videos. I'm talking about the, the Mortal Kombat, MKX, MK9, and um, stuff like that. And I, I love to see people comment on it. Okay? Excuse me. Mm. Mm. So I've been live for 15 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, guys. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up, DD. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. If you got one person watching, still grind. Grind, grind, grind. Okay? Don't give up. Yeah, no worries, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I was telling her that a couple of days ago, not to worry about that. Not to worry about it. And then she was, uh, you know, I know sometimes people feel like they're being ignored among others. But you, I got to keep grinding. Life is about finding your happy place and being able to help others, he said, and help other people. I'm not saying to sacrifice yourself, but add something to someone else's life. And he said, no worries. Right. So don't worry about anything. Uh, people people worry too much and then they begin to faint and fall by the wayside because they are, they are you know, they do. They, they, they thinking they, they're into numbers. That's basically what people, most people are. They're into the numbers and not think about if you did it the right way. And like I tell people, when you go visit somebody's page, make sure you leave a decent comment. If you don't leave a decent comment, they will unfollow you. It just happened. That's just the way it is. Even if you did leave a decent comment, people are not loyalty to stay uh, to stay uh, a follow up you. All right, they have to write. If they feel like they don't like your channel no more, they have the right to un unfollow, okay? There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, I'm not taking this side, DD. I'm just saying that's how it is, okay? People don't have the right. Uh, they don't They don't have, they don't, they're not obligated. That's what I meant to say. They're not obligated to stay uh, a follower to you, okay? Anytime they want, they want to stop following you, they can click on the button and unfollow you. That's just the way it is. Even when you get 6,000, let's say I tell you you got 6,000, you're going to lose some, okay? It's not going to knock you back down to 5,000, but you'll lose some. Let's say I tell you you had 6,999, okay? Almost 7,000, you'll lose it. It's always seen when you get 6,000 and you're about to hit a 7,000, and when you re did reach it at one point at 7,025, you lose a couple people, and you seem like you're stuck in that same spot, but that's just the way it is. With the uh, subscribers, yeah. So that's why I don't worry no more. You know what I'm saying? You'll get them. I, I lost some uh, two, uh, the whole week, but I gained them back. Now I got, you know, I got three thousand three hundred forty. But I bet you, soon I lay down tonight and get up in the morning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna lose some more. So what am I do? Sit there and aggravate and go, oh, I have three thousand forty. What's going on? You know, you can't worry yourself like that. You know, you'll get them back. Somebody, somebody see your channel. You just got to switch it up a little bit. That's all. Uh, no worries. True. It is the way it is. Exactly. That's, the, that's exactly the way it is, Mr. Charles. And I was telling Dee Dee that uh, last week. I said, it is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. You can sit here and, and, and shout about, y'all don't love me no more. You don't, sh you don't shout me out. I'm not saying this to embarrass her. Uh, but, you know, um, you, you, you have to uh, pull yourself up by your bootstrap and, and um, don't let the little, little people that you lost a couple of days ago get to your head. Um, don't let it stress you out because it ain't really worth it. You know what I'm saying? I see people paying you a billion dollars and you had been monetized and then you lost a, a lot of surprise. Okay, then that's different. I can understand that part. But, you know, just you, you begin to work your work your work hours up, your 4,000 watch hours, and then try to get monetized. You can't give up because people un, unfollow you. You know what I'm saying? You can have a thousand thousand subscriber, uh, whatever, one thousand eight hundred people unfollow you. Okay, so what? Now you're able to live. Now you're able to live screen. Okay, so what? Big deal. But you lose some. That's just the way it is. Okay, I got two watching. Uh, Mr. Charles still in here. Yeah, he's dropping some true facts. 
I love reading comments from the set screen. Share the live video. Try to get some people up in here. Uh, Mr. Gilmore, uh, whoever else is watching this live podcast, uh, try to share this uh, live uh, thing out. So I wouldn't worry about those uh, people who unfollow you. You know what I'm saying? Jeff G, Spice Ninja Jeff Gretto. What's good, my brother? I'll try to watch your channel this morning, but on my cell phone, my my data, my data, I meant to say, on my phone was kind of low. So I, I definitely got to click on my my laptop and um, watch your videos. Sharon is Karen. That's right. Sharon is Karen, Mr. Gilmore. That's right. Uh, Jeff G, leave a like, leave a like in the video, share the live. As as Mr. Gilmore said, Sharon is Karen. When you share something with somebody, that's just like hypothetical. You brought you brought some food, and you know you don't you don't have enough money for yourself. And you brought a, a a a Popeye chicken with six pieces of chicken, and you didn't have enough money to buy the other person some, or you didn't have no money. What you do? You share your chicken. You know what I'm saying? You don't don't be selfish because God. God don't like selfish people. I don't really like selfish people. Uh, they, they, they usually uh, try not to uh, share with other people. And it's not a good thing to be selfish. If you have food, share it. Cajun boy, how you doing? Leave a like in the video. Cajun boy is in the building, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming back in. I, I know I said I will be live around about 730, but I'll send down adding some videos. I'll add in some um, Mortal Kombat X videos. That's why I'm coming on here a little late. Uh, I got we got Mr. Charles Gilmore in the building, Jeff G. We had uh, the other girl. We had Dee Dee in the building. We had somebody else at the name of ASRM in in here earlier, but I think she left. And we got Mr. Cajun Boy himself in here. Thank you. Share the live video. Uh, Today's topic was I've been looking at the new Mortal Kombat video. To, it looks very awesome. Yeah, I've been looking at them too. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be doing everybody combos one by one. I will go do uh, a whole video with everybody video, uh, combos in it, but I'm gonna do uh, the all individual combo. I'm gonna max them out the. I'm gonna max them out the combo, and then I'm gonna upload uh, combos on my channel. And I know that will give me some views. Even the one that I got now on my laptop will be giving me some views too. Okay, yeah, the new Mortal Kombat. I, I, I went today and, uh, and I paid for it in full. Yeah, I went. I finished paying for it. Yeah, to get it out of the way, so I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, today topic was Cajun Boy and Jeff G. That uh, when a woman really into you, this was I was talking about this early in the beginning of this podcast. Uh, free ticket, Swedish sweet cash. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, sweet. Yeah, I know, man, sweet. Sweet by the Mortal Kombat 11 coming out on the 22nd of April. Can't wait. So I was talk, telling her about it when a woman is into you and you know that she's into you and what you don't want to do is, 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 is to allow and to drop things because this lady into you. That was funny. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know. So you don't want to, to overdo it. Even though you know she's into you, you don't want to. Uh, when she calls, you don't want to drop everything at one time because she's calling you. Never for a dull moment drop anything for a woman, okay? This don't mean you have to be rude and nasty to her. Uh, you, you let her wait. You know, it's not that very important, okay? She she might want to say hi, good morning, or whatever. I'll talk to you for about 15, 20 minutes. So be it. You wait between 20 minutes to half an hour before you pick up, okay? You don't show neediness, okay? Because sometimes... We get caught up. We know the lady want us. We know the lady like us. So we, we got to pick up the phone immediately at that moment because she's calling. No, 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 no. Uh, you, 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 you can text her and say, hey, I'll call you in a bit. I'm busy. Now, if you're truly busy, you can do that. OK, wait about 15, 20 minutes and call her back. And sometimes maybe she at the moment was available to call you. And then how, that's a hypothetical. You call her back and she don't pick up. What you do, you leave a general comment. Hey, I'm going to turn your phone call. You don't have to explain where you're at. You don't have to tell her what you're doing. Just say, hey, I'm just returning your phone call. Give me a call back. Or you can just leave it. Or you can just say, I'm turning your phone call and leave it at that. And then she'll call you back. Okay. Or she might just pick up. Okay. So when a woman is into you, that means she's really feeling you. And um, she'll be calling you. Prob she probably will be calling you and texting you more than you calling and texting her. So basically, She's in a state where 
she's really into you and she's feeling you and she's really interested. Okay? She's really interested. And she definitely will be calling and um, asking, do you want anything? Because I'm, I'm swinging by your house in about 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. That's when you know a woman really feeling you, okay? Now, when a woman's not really feeling you, you notice they don't text you as much. They don't call you as much. Uh, basically, those type of women, they want you to, to pursue them. Because there, there's some women believing in the old way where the man, the man should be doing all the uh, pursuing or the chasing. Uh, we we all one time at one point would love to be chased. But what I do, instead of me chasing her or pursuing her, I fall back. I don't call her for about uh a two two or three days. I can afford to, to not call her because I, I talk to uh, multiple women. Now, this don't mean I'm sleeping with them now, okay? It's just me. I got my option open. And when one don't work out, I got I got five others, okay? I got I've pretty much got it lined up. So when it just don't work out, just want to act silly. Okay, I got somebody else I can go talk to or hang out. Okay, not to sleep with them because I'm not a I'm not I'm not a, a homemonger. I'm not a male prostitute. Okay, I'm just saying how keep your option open. Have a bondage mindset, meaning she's not the, even though she is into you. Okay, now sometimes she might wear her welcome out where she feel like she's doing all the the uh, pursuing and chasing. And you're not doing anything, and you just allowing her to chase after you. Then sometimes she might fall back too. So you got to be be careful and pay and pay attention to that too, because women do do that. If they feel like she feel like she's doing all the uh, all the pursuing and chasing. I have three in the, the chat. Leave a like in the video if you're here. Leave a comment down below. Okay, let's get the likes up. Let's share this live video. Okay, and she feel like she's doing all the chasing or the pursuing, then she'll fall back. Excuse me. And probably not go uh, tag you, tag you as much as she used to, and then you go say, "Wow, now what happened now?" She used to call me, she used to text me. Now what happened? What you don't do, you don't panic. You you send her a text if you like or whatever you prefer. I prefer uh, calling her, and if she don't pick up, I'm not gonna don't. What you don't want to do, you don't want to call a lady and then turn around and text her. That's a no no. Even if she was feeling you, and she thought she get to the point that okay, I'm pursuing him too much. So I want him to pursue me. I want, she want to feel that she's important as well as you are important, okay? That's what, what women usually do. So what you want to do is, you, what I usually do, I call her, and if she don't pick up, I leave a general message. Hi, I'm calling um, to chat. Or you can say, hi, I'm just calling to see how, where, where you're up to, or you want to say hi, okay? So what you do, you, you, you don't text her two hours later or the same hour or whatever. Wait to her either text you or call. Okay. Wait to her call you or text. Now if she call you, let the phone ring two times, of course. All right, or sometimes three. All right. If she texts you, wait about 10 seconds. Okay. Or 15 seconds or 15 minutes, whatever. And then text her. Okay. Wait about 15, 20 minutes, and then you text her. Now what? You'll get more response from her than waiting about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Now, if the text message is zinc, now that's a way you can chase a lady. A woman, a woman can. Uh, that's a way that a woman can allow a man to chase her over a text. What does this mean? This means if you send him more text than she is, that means you chasing her more. So that's a different way you can chase a woman. You can not only you can chase a woman by ca calling her phone or whatever, but if you look at the link when you text a woman, look at the same link. If she put in about two or three words. If she put in less text, that means she she's trying not to put too much too much text into the text because she feel like she put like uh, three or four or six lines. That means she's chasing you. Okay, she might try to do very short sentence, you know, like very short sentence, like saying hi, how you doing? And she she probably say, okay, if I do this, this will make him text me like three or four or five paragraph or whatever. Okay, that means you chasing her. So a woman is smart. A woman can have you if she can't if she can't get you to chase her by calling her, or leaving a voicemail, or physically uh, chasing her or pursuing her. She will get you in another way where she try to text you less. She might try to extreme three texts and that's it, and then stop. And then she says, "Okay, I can get them." She probably try to get you to do 
six paragraph and then send six more. That means you're chasing her, okay? I got three like, I got three people watching. I got four likes. Make sure you give a like in the video. If you're here, leave a comment so I can know who you are. I've been live for 20, for 30 minutes and two seconds, okay? So you got to pay attention to that, okay? Women are slick. Women, women know what they're doing when they do that, okay? So be careful. Same thing with a man. Man, when a man uh, really into a woman, he will show interest. He will he will text more. You know, not every day, but he may text maybe twice in a week, and one time on a weekend, and then text her twice on the, through the week, and maybe uh, twice on a weekend. Okay. Hello, I was working. Hello, I was working doing DoorDash in my town. Need more friends. Just got home a little bit ago. Okay, Dee Dee, thank you very much. But why Why did you say that uh, this is your last night for YouTube and you need more friends? Just reach out and grab them, okay? I had some new friends there yesterday. You should have came in yesterday. Jeff G is a new friend. I, I just met him yesterday. Jeff, can you grab uh, Dee Dee? It's my life, Dee Dee. I have four people watching and I got four likes. There's no reason why I got four likes. I should have five. Can you give the likes up in the video, guys? Can you share it? Uh, don't be selfish. Don't be the one that say, hey, I need this, I need that, I need this. We all try to grow among ourselves. We all try to get monetized. But at the same time, while you prepare yourself to be monetized, have fun. Just like Gilmore said, have fun. Don't stress it. Because I do. And many, again, took me off. Grab you and then... They take you off. That's going to happen, Dee Dee. That's going to happen. There's nothing that I can do about it or you can do about it. It's going to happen regardless. Not everybody go stay loyal to your channel. So I realize I'm not going to worry myself about it. And you should not worry yourself about it. As Gilmore said, don't worry yourself about it. I got four people watching, six likes, kind of half likes on this video. Share the live out. A lot of people don't really watch other people. That is what it is. A correct. Exactly. I got big, I got big, like BO. Y'all you know, probably watching me like a few times. Hustle of Family. I'm gonna watch me a few times. But guess what? I'm gonna focus on my channel and I'm gonna focus on my content. If they don't watch mine, I won't watch it. Just as simple as that. They make you uh, they make you sub to you, but because they don't watch you, YouTube removes them. Correct. I got five people watching. I got six people in the six likes. Make sure you share, uh, come down, comment down below. If you just came into the building, I was talking about if a man, if a woman was into a man and he, um, what he want to do is he don't want to rush her. He, he don't want to make her feel like he's desperate by anything, but to take his time to deal with her. And not to do anything. That means don't drop everything because she's calling you. And Gilmore said, that makes up to you, but because they don't watch you, YouTube removes them. Of course, yes, YouTube do uh YouTube do uh, purge them because they they uh they, they uh they're not acting. If they watch one full video or twice, they will not lose you. Most people won't watch you at all, of course. Uh correct, Mr. Gilmore. Because I had people who had watched me a month ago, and when I went to, when I went back to the channel, the bell was turned off, and I, and and some of my I lost some of my my uh, followers, and I think uh, YouTube, like you say, removed them. Hi, Dee Dee, Dee Dee, uh, Cajun boy speaking to you. But Char, uh, Gilmore, Charles is right, Dee Dee. Uh, uh, when people don't um don't watch your, your content. Uh, Google remove them because they're dead weight. They're not. They're, they're only there for for numbers. They're not really into to help you grow and make your channel be successful. Okay, and and supporting you. Like tonight, I gotta watch some couple. Cajun boy, I hit one k. How do you do that? Cajun boy, I hit. Cajun boy, I hit one k. How do you do that? Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. You just gotta. You just have to. Um, uh, you go to lose them. You go to lose them, Dee Dee. Oh, I keep telling you over and over. Uh, you just gotta, you just gotta watch people's videos. You gotta spend time and watch video. Uh, you gotta watch at least two or three, four videos. Okay, you can't just watch one video. And if you don't really watch them, uh, you go to lose them. Just showing the love and support. 
That's all. That's all. Yeah, you got to get in there and watch video. Even if they don't shot you out. Now, if they're not watching your video at all, then, uh, you know, don't watch this. As simple as that. I never tell no one not to watch somebody's video, but if you feel like they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, and then Google will remove them. Give me your people. Ha, 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 ha. Man, you just got to, you know what, D, just, just do your thing. Do your thing, okay? Do your thing. Don't worry about it. I got four people watching, seven likes. Don't stress those numbers out. I should have had eight people. I should have had eight likes in the video. Didi, don't stretch it. Don't stretch it. If you, if you if you stress yourself out about YouTube, you will go nuts. Okay? Do you. I don't go nuts. I lose people, so be it. Okay? I don't, I'm not worrying about it. All right? But I'm on my grind. I know what I want, and I'm gonna go get it, and it's not gonna stop me. That's what the, that's the mentality you gotta, you gotta have, Didi. You gotta have that mentality. Have a bondless mindset, okay? Just be yourself. It will come. That's that's why I keep telling people the best advice you can give somebody is to be yourself. That's it. Same thing with a man dealing with a woman. Same thing with a woman dealing with a man. Don't pretend to be somebody who you really not. Be yourself, okay? Be yourself, and she'll see that you are real, and you are yourself, and you being yourself, and you're not being, you're not, you're not pretending to be someone who you're really not. Okay. So yeah, share, share the live, guys, in the video. Share the live, share the live. We can get more people up in here. I've been live for 36 uh, minutes and 37 seconds. I would love to have some. But like brother, Art King, I don't even worry about sub at all. Of course. Yeah, man. I, you know, it's, it, you know, it's, it's like I, when I first started out in 2011, I only had 286 subs. And I say every time, I mean, I set a goal for myself. It is going way back, 2011. I say, okay, this month I got 286. Next month I should have 500. I, I set a goal. Guess what? I stayed at the bottom of 286 for about three weeks before I even got 500. Charles, I grabbed your channel and I even comment. Didi, yeah, that's good. That's what I'm saying here. You grab people and then you get them. I am the most unknown. <laughs> I'm the most unknown known man on YouTube. No, you're not. We know you. We know you. Charles Gilmore, you, we know you. I don't know you that well, but we know you, Charles Gilmore, all right? But, Didi, you got to stop worrying about, you know, I keep telling you, I keep stressing it. You got to stop worrying about friends, okay? You're into the numbers. I, I, I didn't want to say that. I didn't want you to get mad at me. Focus on your content. Focus on your watch hours, and those people will come. I'm telling you. Do your thing. Do the thing. Don't worry about if no one shot you out, so what? Don't be... I don't get shouted all the time. I, when I go in other people's live, live, this is why they do that because I'm a moderator. You are a moderator for King Art 70 channel. Okay? All right? I shout you out when I go in other channel. But don't worry about it. Okay? Not everybody will stay sub to you. It's just the way it is, as Charles Gilmore said. He said, I'm the most unknown no man on YouTube. Okay? Don't get into numbers because when you start getting into numbers, you 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 basically go to start losing people, okay? Because you you got to watch videos and comment. King is right. You got to stop getting into those numbers. If you get into those numbers, Didi, you go it go run you crazy. I'm saying this not to hurt you, not to be uh, not to get you upset. I don't do that. Uh, you know, like like today, uh, you know, Alex Plus, he got his channel taken down. Because he copy and paste uh, a comments. Oh my God, you don't. He said, "Oh my God, you don't." Too good, Jeff. Just after surgery, eight to twenty-five hours. What happened, I'm Jeff? Jeff, what happened? See, you say something about surgery. I got five people watching. I got seven likes. There's no reason I should have seven likes. Can I get eight likes? Can I get nine likes? Can I get 10? Just look out for it. Yeah. 
I got five people watching. I've been live for 39 minutes and 43 seconds. If you're in the building, come down and say hi to King Art 70. It's a Friday night. Come down and say hi to me. I won't bite you. I promise. I am going to watch and comment on your stuff. It's my life, DD. Yeah, DD. See, it's Charles Gilmore. He go comment on your stuff, but don't get caught up into numbers. I'm telling you, you go end up losing them. You better stay focused on your content. Okay, you will lose. Because the thing is, when people see you start whining and crying, did they, they, they just go to unsubscribe from you? Okay, I'm, just, I'm not telling you something to hurt your feelings. I'm telling you what I know. This ain't my first time being on YouTube. I've been on YouTube since 2011. Some of you have been on YouTube probably longer than I have, but I've been, I've seen a lot. I had my trouble of, uh, of trolls, okay? I got seven people watching. Can I get another like? Share the live video. This is what I'm talking about, Didi. If you stay long enough, people will come into this live and they will grab you. I got six people watching, seven likes, okay? You have to start talking and start doing your business, okay? Most people do not give what they hope to get. Correct. Correct. Most people do not give what they hope to get. Okay. And Charles is right. You might want that. You want you want that one thousand so bad that that if you if you stop thinking about it, you'll get it. Just stay focused. Okay. Stay focused on your watch hours, and and, and then get monetized. Have it set up for mod uh, modification. Okay. You will get people to come on your on your uh, your channel. I got six people watching. Come in here and say hi. Don't don't sit there and don't say anything. I had seven people watching. Uh, if you came in, just don't leave just a like. Say hi to me. I like to see who who's watching. I like to shout you out if you want to come in. And King Art Seven is not gonna bite you, okay? King Art Seven is not gonna bite no one, okay? I got eight likes. Can I get another like? Can you push those likes up? Can I at least get twenty five tonight? If not, I let the live stream run in the background, and I know some of you guys have to go to work in the morning, okay? I got four, four people watching, eight likes. Can I get another like? Can I get all the likes I can get? If I don't get to 25, I'm satisfied with 9, 10, 11 likes, okay? And that's how you do it, DD. Even if you don't get the, your, your, even if you don't get the 25 likes, okay? Learn to work with what you got, Okay? If you are not following people, why would they follow you when they want the same thing that you want? Correct. Correct. If you if you are not following people, why would they follow you? That's a good question. When they want the same thing that you want. That's a question. All people are trying to get watch time and people love on them, but they do not love others. They are mad about what they themselves are not doing. Correct. I see a lot of that, and I, I'm not going to call no names out. Uh, I don't want to get shot down or whatever. Well, not really shot down, but I don't want to get hate on because I don't want somebody to say that, oh, you're hating on me because I only got this money. I got this many hours left. But if you look at it, when people get closer to the watch hour, they would seem to be selfish. Okay? I can call some names, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call no names. We begin to be selfish, and they go alive at a certain time because they're selfish, and if you go live, they're hoping that you will cancel your live just to be in their live because they're selfish like that, okay? I'm not calling no name. I'm just saying that's how I see some, that's how some are, okay? And they shot the same people out over and over, such and such this, such and such that, but I'm not calling no name again, okay? But Charles is right. If you want, if you want people to follow you and you don't follow them, they want the same thing as you do. And most people are mad because they don't have what they what they want. That's a true statement. And people are all caught up in the watch out thing. I totally agree. Charles, I agree too, man. But that's what people want. People, I had a couple of people who uh, watched me before and they don't they haven't watched my 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 channel for months. But guess what? I'm not worried about it. I kept moving, I kept going. They look out for a Selected few, correct. That's the right thing. They looked out for a selected two. I, like I said, I can name a couple of them, but I don't want to. I don't want no one to get mad at me because I say this on my live cast. At least you are saying, saying nothing. <laughs> at least you are saying something, brother. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Most people go live and say nothing. Correct. They just sit there like a lump on a log. Expect you to sit in there lie. 
And to sit there, I like, come on, would you say something? You know, you're just wasting time. No one's going to see you sitting here looking in the camera, uh, playing with your phone, talking to talking to people about nonsense stuff that doesn't matter to a hill of bean. You know, no one want to watch that. You have a message. And I love that. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your uh, your inputs on this uh, on this uh, on this thing. I love your comment. I can tell you're a writer. You love to write. I want content. I want to learn or listen to something. Correct, man. I got some great. I don't know you into the Bible, but I got some great audio stuff I have recorded on my own. It's basically my own recording that I recorded it and teaching. It's not. It's not teaching that you would hear on TV or or television. Okay, but it's basically my my teaching. I can listen to you and not to most. I do like the networking page just to find new interesting people. Correct. Same thing with me, man. I, you know, I, I go into CC Uncut because she's a good person. I go in Glam Beauty because she's a good person. Color Girl TV because she's good. And I go and select a few. I don't go in everybody to lie, as you said. And I do listen to it and I do learn something from it by listening to it. And um, everybody else, I'm not really into it, unless it's something that I never heard. It's a new post that no one never talk about a topic. And I say, you know what? Let me listen to this topic. I like to listen to it. Gets important instruction from the Godfather. Yeah, yeah, the Godfather. He, 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 Jeff G. Yeah. Uh, one day, I want, you know, well, Godfather is a good thing. But, uh, I, you know, like I said, people, they get caught up in the numbers. You know what I'm saying? They get caught up in the numbers on this YouTube thing. I stopped doing it. Uh, I don't have time for it. I don't have time to aggravate myself. I'm 48 years old. I don't have high blood pressure, but I don't have time to be worried about something that I can't change. I love to listen to different prospects. Yeah, correct. Me too, man. I agree or not. I want to hear what you are going to say. Correct. That's right, man. I mean, it wasn't you. Uh, a person don't want to have to agree with the person because he's saying uh, saying something. It just like it just like to uh, like to hear about what's going on and what is being said and what's saying about the truth. Truth, my man. I do not worry about what you cannot change. Yeah, I keep telling, I keep telling Dee the same thing. Why are you sitting here whining because people unfollow you? And Dee, I'm not doing this to hurt you. Justin Ford Jr., how are you doing? My brother from another mother, I am doing fasting. I'm sitting here chatting with Mr. Charles Gilmore and Mr. Jeff G. And we're just having a great time talking. Uh, we're not worrying about no watch time out, even though I love it. And I am going to get them because I'm not going to overstretch myself out about them because I've been going live every day this week. And I'm going to go live next week as well. Always great. Yes, that that is good, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm just going to focus on my content. I got some non live videos I got to put up. And that's what I've been doing. I mean, I got some other pre recorded video that is, it could be a pair mirror. Uh, uh, you play uh, Fortnite? No, I don't play that, bro. I play uh, I play Mortal Kombat X. I play Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, I play uh, Tekken. I don't play I don't play. Uh, Car games. I play wrestling, but mostly I play fighting games. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9, MKX, and the new Mortal Kombat is coming out and Injustice 1 and 2. I do sometimes, but it is not my favorite. Uh, yeah, I know, man. It's, it's not my favorite either. Yeah, Justin for Junior, I don't play those. I don't play that. I don't play Fortnite, but I heard about it. It's a good game. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Ford Jr. Can you leave a like on the video? Justice Ford Jr. I am gluttony shop on PS4. Steam. Wow. Don't want to mess with you. <laughs> Give more. I bet you. A, I bet you a beast on that screen, huh? Yeah, I got a PSN uh, name, but I got. I probably go update it. I will play. But I have been so busy lately that I have not gained lately. I could gain now, but I like to listen. <laughs> Yet the shot. Oh, that's your username? You're more crazy G. Nut. <laughs> that's all right. It's just love having fun. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can be crazy. That's all right. We're not gonna, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. So uh, Gil Mr. Gilmore played the PlayStation 4. Uh, Justin Ford Jr., if you didn't leave a like on the video, share the share the video. Uh, get the likes up on the video. Can I have? I have five people watching. Now I got four people. Uh, I got the name in the Navy. Oh, good. Thank you for serving, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for serving in the Navy. I, I know it's not a good thing, uh, Office of OCT, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Justin Ford Jr. Thank you for serving, uh, Charles Gilmore. I got a, a, a friend that served. He's a 15-year a, a veteran Marine. I guess he's on. he was on the water. And he, I work with him. He works at my, my spot where I work at. And we talk every day. He's kind of like a buddy to me. Yeah, yeah, good guy. Okay. Yeah, he's a good guy. I want to thank you for serving. I know it's not easy. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It, 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 it takes a lot of, of guts. I am a retired vet. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you, everybody in this whole world, even on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, and, and, and Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. God bless you. You made it out alive to tell it. That's what's more important. Thank you so much, Mr. Gilmore. We appreciate you. Uh, wants to know if Frost Gump will share his box of chocolate. I hope he does. If he he, he needs to share his chocolate. Justin Ford Jr., my brother worked at the Air Force. Good. Congratulations to him. Uh, tell, when you see him, tell him I say thank him for working at the Air Force. He will, Jeff G., Charles III, laughing out loud. <laughs> uh, Justin Ford Jr., tell your brother I say thank him for working at the Air Force. I got a friend within the Air Force last year. I will. Well, thank you. Tell him King Art 70 from YouTube. Say thank him for his service. I know you will. Yeah, share the live out. Uh, share the video. Justin Ford, I was telling everybody. When a woman is into you and um, what you don't want to do, you don't want to rush into anything with her. Take your time. She might rush. It might feel a little neglected because you're not really uh, responding to her fast as she supposed that you she wants you to do. So what you do when she texts you, you don't drop everything because she texts you or call you. You, you, you wait at least 15 to 20 minutes before you contact her. And you don't want to you don't want to double text a woman or call her in the same day because that makes you look needy and clean. OK, basically, uh, you want to fall back and wait about 15, 20 minutes. And if you if she call you, she'll call you about two, maybe two or three times in a week. And then she'll call you once on the weekend. OK, that means she's really feeling you. Uh, you can uh, ignore one of her phone. Like, say, hypothetical, uh, if you really want a woman to miss you, just ignore the phone call. The first phone call, okay? She will call you back sometime later in that evening, okay? Uh, his name is Kristen, okay? Tell Kristen I said thank him. He he tried to watch your video every single day. Who? Your brother? Tell him I said thank him for watching the video. Tell him leave a comment in the video. Yeah, him. Tell your brother leave a comment. Uh, Tell him to leave a comment in the video and I'll respond back to him. Because if, if you watch him, I, I won't know he, I see some hour change, but I won't know he's been there because I, I won't know who it is. Jeff G, Navy, Jared. Oh, okay. New people need to reach my channel, King Art 70. Uh, King, sure, I was sure to do that. DD, that's what I'm, see, that's what I'm talking about. See you, you all. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Didi. I, I know what you're saying. You need new people. You need new friends. I understand that, dear. I understand that. I'm not saying that to be mean, but don't focus on numbers. That's probably why you're not getting them. Okay, just let it let it flow. Go watch channels. When you watch videos and leave a decent comment, people will stick. They will stay. Comment in other people's pages. And leave good comments. It's my life, Dee. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Leave comments. Leave comments in the video. Put yourself out there. Okay? Not everybody will respond to you, so you got to get used to that. Okay? But that's what I did 12, 20, 20, uh, 2011. Okay? 
If you leave a good comment, people will come back to see you. It's my life, DD. Correct. If you leave a decent comment, people will come back and they will uh they will come and see you. New people need to reach my channel, King Art Seven. Okay, then I'll try to help you out. Uh, I don't know. It looks like somebody took a like back. I had nine likes. Now come on, stop playing with the likes, okay? Can me and you play Fortnite one day? Yeah, we can do that, brother. Somebody, who took the like back? Can you stop playing with the likes? Um, watch video that interests you from small YouTubers, and they will come and check you out. It's my life, Didi. I keep telling her, you don't have to necessarily watch big, big YouTubers. You can watch people who are small. I got six people in the house. Can you please get the like up to 10, 10 likes? Get the likes up to 10 likes. I had 10. I had nine. I got, somebody took one away. Actually, I had nine, but somebody took one away. Uh, Junior King Art. Oh, my God. I saw who did it. It's a new update on YouTube. It is? Oh my God, I saw who did it. It's a new update on YouTube. I believe you too, because I'm supposed to have like nine likes. I got seven likes and five people in, in the uh, in the building. So I lost two likes. Uh, get the video, get the likes up on the, on the video. Some people are more likely to come back and follow you. Correct, correct, correct. Oh my God, I saw who did it. It's a new update on YouTube. So YouTube is taking people likes from them. That's what they're doing. Stop whoever doing that. I think it's just a person. Last night I had somebody here last night. They took the uh they took the lag back. They're playing game. They try to they, you can't stress me out. You can't stress me out. Impossible. Uh stop whoever doing that. Correct, man. I agree with you. Justice Ford Jr. It's probably somebody who know me and probably been on my channel before. Rebecca Cruz. Hi. Leave a like in the video, please. If people come to your video. And leave a like, and then leave the like goes away. Correct. <laughs> oh man, correct, man. I, I agree with you, bro. I will help you. Who does it? Uh, I don't know who it is, but I know Bar uh, Rebecca. How you doing? Leave a like in the video. BC, I could try to help you out. Okay. Yeah, thank you, man. If you can help me out, I appreciate it. Rebecca Cruz. Hey, my daughter. Can you leave a like in the video? Gilmore said, if people come to your video and leave a like and then leave the like goes away. <laughs> Charles Gilmore the third. Hello, Rebecca Cruz. Rebecca Cruz. Uh, uh, Charles Gilmore is speaking to you. Uh, Rebecca Cruz, there's no reason why I got seven likes, okay? Let's get this like up on the video. Let's correct that. Let's correct that like, Rebecca. Hello, Charles. Rebecca, give a like on the video. People actually have to watch for a couple of minutes for the like to stick. Yeah, that's the thing. I keep telling people. People, you come in, and, they, and they, they're like and then they whole tail. I keep telling people, give me two minutes of your time. And then stay. I'm not mad. I'm just saying if you stay about five minutes, the likes will stick. But they don't stay because people are not loyalty. <laughs> I like your video when I come in 30 minutes ago. Well, how long do you stay, Rebecca? Do you stay 10? Do you stay two minutes? Because Google, Google got this thing where it removes the like if the person doesn't stay at least two to five minutes in the video or 10 minutes. The like, as Charles said, people comes in and like the video, and when they leave, the likes goes away. <laughs> oh boy, I stayed ten minutes. Oh my God, why are you guys doing that to him? He deserves happiness. Yeah, thank you, uh, Justin Ford Jr. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I think people try to try to stress me out, and I, I, I'm over it. Uh, you know. The other day, somebody left me two, two dislikes on my video for no reason. I'm not complaining about it, but 
It, it is what it is. Junior being dramatic. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all got me laughing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Rebecca. Can you? Uh, I know you say you like it, right? The thumbs down is just crude. He has been nothing but good. But some people just like hurting others. That is wrong. Correct. I like your voice, uh, Charles Stanley. You should be a... Uh, you should. Uh, I, I see you be talking on YouTube about different things, and I've been watching. You think I've been watching you, but I've been watching your channel. I, 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 not that I forgot to comment on, but I've been watching your channel, how you talk, and I like the way you talk because it, it, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You, you're on point. Junior, uh, Justin Ford Jr. start laughing. He said, laughing out loud. Uh, listen to what Charles says. He said, the thumb down is just crude. <laughs> He has nothing but good, but some people just like hurting others. That is wrong. Correct. Correct. I, I agree with uh, I agree with Charles Gilmore. Damn, you got a three dislike already. It, it got to be from somebody. I don't know who it is. I don't know. Maybe I pissed somebody off. I don't know. They took the likes back and turned them into dislikes. It's probably Dee Dee. Uh, it could be. It could be Dee Dee. She's probably mad at me. Dee Dee, did you give me a like down? Yeah, because she ain't came in here. Uh, Cause she keep coming here saying friends. I'm not doing this to embarrass Dee Dee, but I'm trying to get Dee Dee. It is her. I try to get Dee Dee to see that uh, if you want people to stick, you gotta watch the video. It is her. It's her. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I hate to say yeah, but I think it is too because she came in. And me and Charles Gilmore and Justin Ford Jr. was talking about how it's not really worth it to talk, uh, you know, how not really to stress about numbers and all the stuff here. I need more hug time. And I don't really care. Like he says, if you go to these small YouTubers, leave a comment. Like, like Charles Gilmore said, if you go to these small YouTubers and you leave a comment, they will come back and they will watch your video and they will leave a comment and they will stay. They will stay loyalty to you. They will stick. Maxwell Jones, what up, my man, my brother from another mother. I mean, here's chatting with uh, Charles Gilmore, Justin Ford Jr., Rebecca Cruz, which is my daughter, uh, and yourself. How you doing today? Can you leave a like in the video? I got some trolls who leaving dislikes down on my video. She's a damn hater, she said. <laughs> uh, thank you, my daughter. Some people just want to be YouTube superstar, but they don't, they do not really want to check out other. Correct. I mean, Charles Stanley is laying facts, guy. Y'all you, seen this comment? That's what I'm saying. Some people just want to be in the spotlight. That means superstar, as Charles said. Some people just want to be seen. They want to walk among others. They don't care about other people. They want you to play their playlist. They want to walk all over you. They care about getting monetized. Then when you say something that is true and it, and it, is, it kind of hurt them, they want to get mad and block you and leave dislikes. <laughs> I just want to be me, like me or not. I am me. I support other. Correct. Correct. Thank you, uh, Maxwell Jones. Maxwell Jones, thank you. I will be live tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Now, I know a lot of y'all can't come back. I don't know. If you can come back, I will be live Sunday. I'll be live Sunday two times, and then Monday I will be live. Now, one of the lives I might let the uh, I might let the playlist run. Okay, so what this means is, um, when everybody leave the chat room, I'm just gonna let the play room, the playlist run, so I can get some watch hours. But yeah, some people just want to be YouTube superstars, but they do not really want to check out other people. That's correct. I agree. I just want to be me. That's right. Correct. Like me. Gilmore say, like me or not, I support others. That's the way, that's how you're supposed to do it. You support other people. What happened with Dee Dee? Well, Dee Dee had lost some people, and I'm not talking bad about her. Okay, let's let's miss let's understand what I'm saying. I, I like her like a I like her. She's a sweetheart. Uh, what happened is she she couldn't go live because Google came out with a new rule. If you don't have four thousand, if you don't have a thousand followers 
then you can't go live. There's a way you can do it, but I'm not going to mention on here because I don't want YouTube to, to flag my video. Yeah, that is suck. That suck. I got seven people watching. Can I have nine, ten likes? Can you make yourself known in the bottom of the screen? Share the live out. Share the live. So her problem was she kept saying, she kept coming in here saying, I need more friends. I need new friends. So to me, it's all about the number. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Surely, I do care about my followers, okay? But I'm not here. I'm not talking about that tonight. I'm, matter of fact, when I come live before you guys, I don't come up here and say, oh, Gilmore, can you help me get 100 more? Oh, Rebecca, can you help me get 500 more? Oh, Jeff, can you help me get 600 more? Okay, I don't do that. Oh, Maxwell, can you help me get 900 more? Oh, Rebecca, can you help me get 1,000 more? If I can, be, if I can have 4,000 followers. No, or Justin Four, can I have 5,000? Can I have two more thousand followers? So I can have 5,000 people. I do care about my followers, but as you put out great content, you have to work for it. No one not gonna give you anything. See, that's the thing that Gilmore said very clearly. I had seven people watching. There's no reason why I should have eight. I should have nine or 10 likes. Get the likes up on the video, share the video, okay? But there's no reason why I should be sitting here st stressing you guys out, telling you, okay, uh, Junior, okay, I need, I need a lot more square. I see somebody took a loss. I like back. Okay, I need this. I need that. I do care about my. I do care about my followers. Okay, but I'm not gonna keep bringing them up every time I come live. When I'm supposed to be, when when the topic is supposed to be talking about how to deal with a woman who is a nurseress, or how to deal with people who have certain ways of doing things at a certain time, or how to deal with a woman with a bad attitude. Okay, I, I came here to talk about how many more people I need. I came here to talk to you about my topic. It based all you have to work hard first to all that to get recognized. And when you put out great content, as Charles says, watch small YouTubers and leave general comments. Okay, then people come back and then watch your video. You have to leave uh, comments on the video. You cannot watch your one. You gotta watch. You gotta watch at least four or five. That's what I try to do. Okay, let me read the comments. She's a hater. That's Rebecca. What happened with Dee Dee? She's a hater. Jeff G. What are you eating? Um, I haven't ate anything yet, my brother. I haven't ate anything. Yeah, it does. I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't know why YouTube does that shit. He said, I don't know neither, man. It's it's messed up. Rebecca Crew. If she needs more friends, she should go on Facebook and add them. Correct. Justin Ford Jr. Yeah, true. Justin Ford Jr. You are so true, brother. Yeah, man. I try to be. I try to be honest. I try not to be rude. I'm not being rude to Didi. I'm just trying to get Didi to see that it's just more than just numbers. Okay? It's about having fun, as Charles said. Uh, Justin Ford Jr. YouTube is so messed up. I don't know why it does that. It can't make people happy. You want to make people his bro, people, and you have to work very hard on YouTube. Trust me, bro. You have to work hard. Correct, Junior. Uh, Justin Four, you have to work hard. Uh, Jeff G, dinner. Okay, eat your dinner. Uh, Charles Gilmore, the third. Agree. Uh, Rebecca, I saw DD video and it's whack. You are better. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, uh, Rebecca Cruz. Uh, this is my daughter, guy. And she said I look like a father. So basically, she is my daughter. Okay. Rebecca Cruz is my daughter. Maxwell, Joan, he laughed. <laughs> I told her, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not talking bad about her. I did went and watch her videos. I admit it. I went and watched some videos, I think a couple hours ago. I think she made some new ones. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you what she did to me on here. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to, you know, I, I just keep it to myself. Oh, that is so nice of her. Uh, yeah, uh, Rebecca is my daughter. You know, uh, tell us. Uh, nah, she might watch the playback. <laughs> tell us. I am watching her. Yeah, I know, Didi. I'm not mad at her. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm just telling her 
Stop calling out, you know, uh, you know, who care if she watches? Of course, Rebecca Crew, my daughter. Okay. Well, Rebecca, I mean, um, Dee Dee, well, we, we came kind of like friends, you know, not like dating or anything. Now, don't, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Not dating, just, just casual friend. Chat, 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 chat. You know, I check on her, make sure she's okay. Uh, she, you know, she, you know, she added me on Facebook, you know, and stuff like that. So I went and checked. You know, I don't go on Facebook no more that much. I stopped because I'm so busy working my full time job and I'm busy on YouTube. I'm more on, I'm more on YouTube than I'm on Facebook. But I know you can share your content on YouTube. So what happened was um, I went and I noticed it says you and Dee Dee is not connected no more. So I guess she unfriended me. OK, she unfriended me on Facebook. That's basically what she did. Waiting for Dee Dee to enter the chat. Yeah. Tell us. I am watching her. Who care if she watches? Oh, okay. Laughing out loud. That's messed up. Yeah, it is messed up. I, I kind of, it kind of, uh, it didn't make me mad, but I think what it is, I, you know, I, I watched Dee Dee's videos. I didn't, I didn't ignore her. I went live. I did exactly what I said I would do when I done streaming live. I went to her, her channel. I watched all her videos to the end. I did not spam my video. I watched it to the end. If the video five minutes, I watch it five minutes. If the video seven minutes, I watch it seven minutes. Okay? And I leave a decent comment. Bro, can I give you a advice? Go right ahead. I got six people watching, eight likes. There's no reason why I can't have nine likes on this on this podcast. I've been live for one hour, 11 minutes, and 36 seconds. Go ahead and give me that live advice. Uh, Charles Gilmore said he's watching Dee Dee. I got six people watching, eight likes. Can I have a? Can I have more likes? Can you share out the live? Share the live. Share the live. Look, some look. Sometime you can't trust people in life. You have to get to know them for one week. If they keep going to your life, trust them. Yeah, that's that's that, you know, just like you. You know, sometimes I don't see Gilmore. Is I mad at Gilmore? No, he got things. He got other things better besides being on my life. I didn't get mad at him. Okay, he was in um, you know, he was in some other chat. I didn't get mad at him. I saw him in there. Okay, I don't own him. He can go to anybody alive he wants. Look, sometimes you can't trust people in life. You have to get to know them for one week. If they keep going to your life, trust them. Of course. I agree. Jeff G. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree with you. I agree with you, Justin Ford Jr. Uh, Charles Gilmore, the third. Everyone is always live. Yeah, man. Everybody's live. Everybody go live. Just try to get their watch hours up. And try to get monetized. Gambling cuisine. Hi, my friend. I'm talking to uh, Mr. Gilmore, Jeff G, uh, Rebecca Cruz, which is my daughter, Justin Ford Jr., and Max Jones, who is here in the building, and many more. I tried to check out everyone. Thank you, uh, Charles Gilmore. I appreciate it. I got seven watching. Well, 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 seven watching. Uh, thank you for coming in. Leave a like on the video. Can I have 10 minutes of your time? Uh, I got, I've been live for one hour and 13 minutes and 32 seconds. How are you? I'm doing good for a Friday night. I'm well. I'm, I'm here talking to you guys. Uh, I got six people watching. I had seven people. I had nine. I'm doing good at uh, Gambling Cuisine. And uh, I'm, I was telling people in the live chat, such as uh, myself, and if a woman is into you, yeah, hire one. That's how you do it. If a woman into you, I can't be in all live at all one time. Correct, Gilmar. You can't. You can't be in everybody live. Okay? And Gilmar is right. Uh, oh, my God. Why every, every, every single day I can't join your live? And when you go live tonight, I could go. I don't know why. Maybe you're on a different time zone, Justin Ford Jr. You try to join my live? You can't go live? Why? What happened? I don't go live that much because everyone is always going live all the time. All you had to do, Charles Jr., 
whether they go, whether they go live or not, you you don't let them stop you from going live. I say hypothetical, I go live tomorrow at eight o'clock. You're gonna go live at nine or ten or whatever at seven. Still go live. Don't let what I do stop you. Go live. I might who know I might stop mine and go over there and raid yours. I don't go live that much. I got eight people watching. There's no reason why I can't have 15 likes in here. I know you're here, you're watching. So come on down and say hi to King Art 70. Come in and have fun with the, the chat, okay? Uh, it's like 500, 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, I mean 5.45 in the morning, okay. Hey, all, what's up, bros? If I kiss my channel, I like to support other people. I never worry about me. I know I can't go live, but I like to watch others. Correct. That's right. Hey, uh, DD, you got some people up in here you can grab? I know you grab some of the people. I don't know you got gambling cuisine. Grab her. Okay. But I got five people. I had eight people up in here. I had uh, 10 likes. Can I get, can you share out the live guy? That's what I keep telling you. You know, when people tell you to share the live, they're telling you for a reason to share it. If you want those people, DD, share the live. See, you know, I'm, I'm telling you here while you're here now. I'm not going to say this behind your back before before the people here, before my audience who's looking at me now. If you want people to grab you, share the live. Same thing if you was live, DD, I would share your live. Why? Because I want people to hug me. I want to watch their channel. Okay? Don't get caught up in numbers, but share the live and people will come to you. You're already good at making intro and everything. That's all you need to worry about. You don't need to worry yourself to death because people unfriend you. It's going to happen regardless. Okay? It's, it's just going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's, it's, there's something that I can't change and there's something that you can't change. Okay? It's just going to happen. People will unfollow you for any reason. For whatever reason they didn't follow you. Maybe it, maybe it ain't what it seems like it's supposed to be. So that's just one of the things you might look at it. And sometimes people just don't want to watch other people's uh, channel because everybody want to be in the spotlight, okay? Uh, you can't be like that. If you like that, then it, it, you just go to uh, have people unfriending you for no reason, okay? You just go have them unfriending you, and then you will get you will get aggravated. So the best thing I can, I can give you the best advice, DD, is don't get caught up in the numbers, okay? All right. I don't don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not being mean to you. I'm not being rude. I will never be mean and rude to you. You know, I got your back. I, I, you're a moderator for my channel and I'm a moderator for your channel. All I'm saying is these people will come to you. As Charles Gilmore said, you don't have to watch all the time. Big YouTubers watch small YouTubers. OK. All right. They will watch your video. Because most time as people get higher up in the in numbers, people seem to. See, people seem to forget where they come from, okay? And to you, if you got, even you got a thousand subscribers, they'll look at you as you small. Why right? they got 6,000 subscribers, okay? Kidding around. Anyways, honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. Love my job. Now I'm doing DoorDash. Yeah, I heard. I heard you. I, I saw your video that you got a job on your YouTube channel. So congratulations to you. Don't let it bother you. You will get your watch time hours and you will get your 1,000 friends, okay? Watch, the moment you don't think about it, the moment where they'll come, okay? That's how you do it. Don't let this thing override you. Don't let it do nothing to your mind, physically or mentally, okay? Stay focused. You got a new job, stay focused on that job. You don't need to be, you don't need to be aggravated from home, from YouTube, and took the, you don't wanna take that to your job, okay? All right, don't take that to your job. All right, that's that's my best advice I can give you, Didi. I know you, I know you're not a kid. I know you know better, but I love to say a word of encouragement. Okay, Gigi, Didi, don't let it bother you. Do your thing. Be on your purpose. Okay. Jeff G, Splinter Cell. Yeah, I like Splinter Cell. I played that old game for the the original Xbox uh, when it first came out. Yeah, I remember that game. Yeah, I got six people watching. I got uh, 10 likes. Uh, guys, if you didn't hug Dee Dee, hug her. Uh, that's my friend. I haven't talked to her for a couple of days. I was, getting, I was beginning to worry about her. 
And I was I was concerned about her. Can I get 15 lakhs? Can I get 20 lakhs? I got eight people in the house. Come into the house. Uh, say hi to King R7. Why King? Those uh, Why King? Those words are powerful and motivated. Thank you very much. Hi, brother. Mona Slim. I've been playing your playlist, dear. I, I still got to play some for the uh, for the weekend. I'm gonna play being old. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do being old on tonight. Lonnie Gomar. Hey, King. Showing you some love. Thank you very much. Come in. Leave a like on the video. Stay and have a seat. Stay and have a seat. If you missed the, the beginning of this live cast, I was telling any guy who with a woman. Yes, I started yours three hours ago. I'm gonna finish yours tonight. Okay, I'm gonna play yours on my cell phone, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to comment on it. That's how I do it. I've been telling guys when they get a woman who's interested in them not to rush anything when a woman is into you. However, you don't want to show her that you will jump every time she call or text you. You want to wait to at least about 15, 20 minutes up to a half an hour. Uh, if a woman really feeling a guy, she go call him one or two times in a week and then and one time on a weekend. And so basically what you want to do, what I did, I missed one phone call on purpose to see how she acts. So basically what I did, I test her to see she where she get an attitude. And so what I did, when she called me back, the second time I picked up, right? And she said, where you been? I said, I was busy. I, was, I didn't have my phone on me. I was doing something outside and I left my phone in the house. Yeah. So you want to do that. And when you do that, and she know that you have a life besides waiting on her phone call to, you know, to ring and to talk to her, okay? We're seeing you a screenshot of the whole progress. Yours might take a week. Well, thank you very much. Yours might take a week too, but I definitely will. Uh, you will see my comment. My uh, what, Women do the same thing, King. Yeah, they do. They do the same thing. Women do the same thing. Yeah, I agree. Uh, go to high school, Navy. Turn at it. Okay. <clears throat> More to slim. I was saying, I was, I will leave a, a, I will leave a comment on your video so you know I watched it. That would be my evidence. Uh, Lennon, are you new to the channel? Yeah, leave a like on the video. So a man, a woman, the same way. When a woman, uh, you know, woman, a man should do the same thing with a woman. When a man is into a lady, he will call her probably more, a little more than she will call him. That means he really feeling her and he, he feeling her vibe. What a woman don't want to do. Can I get the likes up in the video? Can I get 15, 20 likes? Uh, what he don't, what she don't want to do is pick up the phone when he call. OK, uh, don't show neediness and, and desperate, desperate. OK, because no problem. You not need to leave a comment. I trust you. Well, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna leave a comment. But I thank you. I'm gonna leave a comment anyway because I saw you in um, BNO Outdoor Live today, tonight. I was in there, and I saw you in Farm Fanatic. Yeah, I saw you. Hey, Salon, son. She's a uh, uh, check out her guys. Dee Dee, here's your chance now. Hey, somebody here from my channel and from Lamb Beauty and and uh, the rest of them. Oh, nice. I got eight people in here. Can I get a 13 like? Okay, so a man should do the same thing as a woman. Uh, I mean, a man should do the same thing with a woman. When a woman into him and she call him, he, he, you, you don't drop everything because he because she uh, because she call you. Okay, you, you wait, you wait 15, 20 minutes, and this showing that you you are you have your own life. Okay, you have a life of your own, and you're not sitting here waiting around waiting for her phone her phone to ring or to ring her phone than to talk to her. Than having better things to do. Now, this don't mean that she's not perfect, and this don't mean that uh, she's not perfect. Okay, it, it's good to have a life of your own. So when she see that, or he see that, then know that this guy got a life of his own, and he's not he's not smothering me, he's not suffocating me. Okay, that's basically what I try to tell guys. And guys seems most guys doesn't seem to get it, and then they start hugging the lady too too much, and then she become bored, and then she feel like she been suffocated. Okay. And you, she began to lose interest. I have six people up in the live. There's no reason why I couldn't get 13 lakhs or 15 lakhs. Can I get another lakh? I've been live for one hour and 24 minutes and 23 seconds. Okay. 
No, I just saying hi. Thank you. I already have you. Okay. I got six people watching. There's no reason why I couldn't get 13 likes in this video. Uh, I don't know what time it is, but I think it's getting. It's probably a little bit after nine or ten um, here. I definitely gotta go to bed soon because I gotta because I gotta go to work in the morning. I gotta go to work. I gotta be work at seven o'clock. And I gotta leave here at like five thirty or six. <sighs> oh, well, excuse me. So get the likes up on the video. Share this live cast. Uh, can I get fifteen likes? I got six people. I had eight people in here. The numbers keep going down. Share the live video. Get people to come up in here. Uh, okay, get people to come up in this video. All right. So I'm a, when I get monetized, I definitely go. I, I got a lot of uh, un non monetized videos. I got one that teaches teaches the guy how to um, how to thank a woman, and I don't want to blur out. Too much information because I don't want to spoil it. So it will be a non-live video, and it will be a premiere video. Basically, what that means, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna set it up where it upload itself, and the time limit will count down from ten minutes until zero. And I probably I'll have the chat open so you can so you can chat with me while you listen to the video. Okay. All right. That's what I'm working on. All right. So thank y'all guys for coming into the live. Uh, I got 12 thumbs up, full uh, full watching. Thank you, DD, if you're still here. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's time now to grind, grind, grind. I will be going live tomorrow, if y'all know about it. I'll be going live tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern, uh, Eastern time. And um, I will go, I'll be, I will be on live for a long time tomorrow. I'll probably be on live for about three hours or four hours or five, whatever. Uh, Sunday, I'll be live in the morning, and then in Sunday evening, I'll try to go live around about 1, uh, I mean, at 2 o'clock, because Jamaican girl, 1, 2, 3, go live at 1, so I don't want to miss her live. I'm trying to go live early, so a lot of people come in, and then on Monday, I will go live at uh, 7 o'clock until 8.30, could Glam Beauty come on at 8.30, so I don't want to miss her live, okay, and then I go live again. Uh, somewhere around two o'clock on Monday. I mean three o'clock on Monday. And then I I try to go live again on Sun on Monday night. So I'm trying to get all my I'm trying to accumulate my watch hours so I can be monetized. All right. Every hour and day counts when you go monetize. All right. I and mean, when you accumulate uh, watch hours. But I definitely will be playing um um Glam Beauty. Hi, how are you doing? I am doing good. Uh guys, Glam Beauty is in the building. I wasn't expecting her to come in, but I was just talking about you. See, when you talk about people, uh, they seem to show up, okay? Uh, uh, I was talking about how you go live uh, five days, uh, uh, standard time, 8.30, and then you after that, you leave the network open so people to so people can network in your live, and sometimes I stay in there to the end to make sure people are not spamming uh, your channel, such as using, you know, the bells and the emojis and all this kind of stuff and uh, a lot of uh, stuff that they don't supposed to use. Okay, the spirit spoke to me, King Earth. What spirit? <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't pay no mind. I'm just joking. Well, I be darned. God is good. So God, when we spoke to you, say, tell you that King Heart Seven is alive. Can you go say hi? I'm just kidding, dear. But thank you, uh, thank you uh, so much for coming in, guys. If you don't have Glam Beauty, uh, Glam Beauty is a moderator uh, for King uh, Seventy, and I'm a moderator for her channel. Uh, I basically watch out back, make sure nobody not uh, spam her channel while she leave her live and go to work. So that's my duty and my responsibility. And she believed that it's not our responsibility, but it is. It is my responsibility because I, I feel like if I left. I feel like I didn't do my job, so that's why I stay. Uh, laughing at all, the king, the good spirit of God, he said, go to King Art. Well, thank you very much. I've tried to keep that positive attitude. Uh, this morning, I went to work this morning, and my boss said, wow, why are you smelling for? I said, well, thanks to the Lord, I woke up to see another Friday, and I saw the fifth day, and I'm about to see the sixth day and the seventh day. So he started laughing, and I, and I, and I was serious about it. So 
as I was talking to him, he said, why are you grinning? You seem happy. I said, well, I woke up and I went live for about an hour and I say some word of encouragement. And I think it was, I think it was Happy Friday. And I, I was, I whooped my, I had my niece in my hand. I don't know y'all watched that video, uh, but I had my niece in my hand. She was, she had me holding, I was holding her. And I was talking to the, some new people that I'd never seen before. Uh, the, 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 fam, the, the dream family. I mean, it was crazy people. And it was like new people I never saw before. And I was telling people how to stay positive and, and, and how to, uh, you know, Get, stay away from people who are negative and be generous. Okay, be generous to people. If you see somebody who seems like they hadn't had food for a while or a day, uh, offer them some food. You know, the Bible talks about this kind of stuff. And, you know, you see somebody in need, help them out. Be generous. I, I gotta admit it, guys. I was never was generous. I was a, uh, I was, I was not stingy. I was a little selfish. Okay, I was selfish when I was young. It took me a while to get over it. And after I found the Lord Jesus and took that that that, that uh, selfishness away from me and made me who I am, filled myself with the Holy Ghost and stuff like that, and gave me a gift to teach the Bible, understand 95% of the Bible. I got a lot of audio I can put on YouTube, but the thing is, uh, I don't know what y'all like to hear it. You know, I don't want to bore you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she said, the good spirit of God, he said, go to see King Earth. You always stay in that lie, the end. You are so appreciated. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I that's my I feel like that's my job and, and it's my duty uh, to stay in there. Uh, same thing with Color Girl TV. Same thing with Martha Slim, if I have to, if she made me a moderator. It's just the right thing to do. I like seeing I like seeing people making it, you know, especially black women. I like seeing black women making it just as well at black. Some black guys that make it. Not everybody like to choose this type of type of thing, but uh, y'all too worth it. You 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 help out the the YouTube uh, community, and, and you're not fake. I believe uh, you know you and uh, you know Color Girl and yourself uh, go be the next big thing on YouTube. And Marla Slim, uh, just awesome. You know what I'm saying? She does those. Uh, she did a video about how to stay slim. I watched the whole video. It just inspired me. I had lost a lot of weight. I used to be a 40, I used to be a 48 in the waist. That's too big. And I, when I lost 48, I went down to a 48, 48 to a 44. And after that, I went down to a 38. And then I said, you know what? I can use some more weight. So I went down to a 32. Now I'm a 32 in the waist and I wear a medium shirt. I'm so slim. And when people see me at my work, they say, this is you? They thought I was sick. I said, no, I'm not sick. I said, can a brother lose weight? Jeez. Without looking sick, so I lost a lot of weight. You are very welcome, uh, Glam Beauty. Uh, you and Color Girl TV are just uh, magnificent. Okay, you keep doing what you're doing. You keep telling people to come in there and grow your channel, and and you, you tell people to uh, to create a, a uh, playlist. And I tell you, I've been playing Modern Slim. I got to replay yours uh, as well. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be playing Modern Slim playlist, and then tomorrow, I'm going to play uh, B&O Outdoors. True, it's a blessing to see a new day to be alive. Of course, yes. Yes, amen. Thumbs up, y'all. Yeah, thumbs up the video. I had, eight, I had eight people in the video, in the live. There's no reason why I can't get 15 or 20. I don't get most likes like most people do, but I'm not hating on them because they deserve it, because they're doing something for the YouTube community. It, that means they want them to grow, okay? So I'm not mad at all about that. I need to play yours too. Oh, okay. Well, whenever you can, you uh, you know, whenever you can, Bland Beauty. Uh, you know, I you know, like I said, like you said this morning, your uh, video. You know, if you can't find a, a playlist, help yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I've been doing it. I, I, what I'm trying to say to you, I'm not watching my own playlist, but what I can do is I did, I did went out and brought a new phone today. And it have a it have a different IP address. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna log on play. I'm I'm not even gonna log in. I'm just gonna play it, play my playlist, let them run on my own. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Glam Beauty said I played it twice a week, and I play and I need to play it again tomorrow and today. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So tonight I'm gonna play Modern Slim. On tonight, I, I already got my phone over there. It's playing now, actually. 
So I'm gonna let it play to the end, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna comment. Even though she said no, I trust you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna comment. Like I did yours, like I did Glam Beauties and Color Girl TV. So I, I leave a leave evidence because that way you don't think I'm I'm funny bunny and just saying a lot of just saying a whole lot of nothing and haven't watched anything of yours. Okay, I want you to, to see the progress that I had watched your video. Yes, I use my laptop to play my own playlist. Oh, cool. I thought what I thought that well that uh Glam Beauty, you said you use your laptop to play your own playlist. Don't that have the same IP address? I thought you couldn't do that. Yeah, I, th I thought you couldn't do that. I thought I heard you say that uh, you have to use a, 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 I don't know, I just play it. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll try that out then. So if you missed the beginning of this live, Cast Glam Beauty, all right, I, I, I tried to, I try to play it too. If you missed the live, the, well, you probably didn't miss it, but you came in the beginning of this live podcast, no, I think it's working, I guess. Oh, okay, then I play my own then. All right, I'll do that then. Thank you for letting me know. So I was telling guys when they get a thank you for the like. Can I get 14? Can I get 15? I was telling guys when they get a lady that is into them, and what does it mean she into you? Not all women are into guys. It doesn't matter. You can have your stuff together. You can have your finance together. You can have the, the, the goodest clothes you're wearing, goodest sneaker, whatever. For some reason, she doesn't like you for some reason. There's some women pick guys. The choose women pick choose guys for a very reason. Maybe she likes the way he talk, the way he walk, the way he carry himself. Okay, all right. Not all women like you because you got your education. Okay, all right. It just it, it most likely is swag. It, it, they like the way the guy talk. Okay, they like the guy. They like that mouthpiece. Okay, guy, girls like guys or women like guys with great mouthpiece. Amen to that. Women like guys with great mouthpiece. I had a friend of mine. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Oh yeah, I saw that you posted a video about that. Need to watch that. Look interesting. Yeah, check it out. Let me know you think about it. <laughs> Be honest about it. Now. I, I, I know it seems like I'm picking on women, but I'm not. I try to get guys who are younger than I am. When they get these women, these women will eat them alive because they don't have no experience. Uh, I don't think I know everything, but I had dealt with women who had did that to me, and I just learned how to deal with it, you know. And and I got them back. I got them back. Not I didn't hurt them. I didn't, you know, I didn't like set them up to, to be jumping and then it is that I got them back. I, I, I beat them at their own game. That's what I did. So basically, what I'm trying to tell guys, uh, I had a guy. I'm gonna tell you all this quick story. I know this is not this is not the topic. It was this guy. He he met this girl on Tinder. It was a, it was a black girl, black sister. And he was a he was an okay looking guy. I don't look at guys like that, but he was all right. I guess he was all right enough for her to go out with him. I guess. So she's a ten. You know, I, I saw she was a ten, and he took uh he took her out. First, he said, "Look, instead of going out to a restaurant, let me just go to the grocery store." And buy some things and I make your dinner at my place. So first she said, okay. When they when when they went to the grocery store and brought back the food into the house, she changed her mind. Instead of he being the main and leading, saying, No, you know what? I want to instead of he saying, Look, I made a decision, I want us to stay here and eat. He let her redid the decision for him. In other words, he allowed her to change the plan that he wanted. So basically, instead of her following his instruction or whatever, he counsel his and stop following hers. So when a woman see that you do that, you say, okay, I got him, I got him. So if he did it to me the first time, if he do it for me the first time, I can do it to him the second time, okay? That's that, that's that's being weak. So what you gotta do, say, no, we go, I don't know, we go, we go do what I asked you to do. Oh, you go do what I wanted to do. And if you can't follow it, then most guys who are high value male, wouldn't care because they'll they have somebody to talk to. They use a good guy, alpha male will have at least five or sixteen guys. I mean, um, guys. I'm sorry, women to line up in line on the phone. Okay, so he's not wrong about that. He'll take the loss, even if she is a ten. He'll take the loss. 
Okay. Even he'll cancel a date on her if she don't cooperate and then date and then set up another date with another woman. So, however, when a woman, so this is where he messed up at. He said, okay, all right, we'll go out and eat. So he spent, and I'm not cheap. I spent some money on some women when I was, if I, if we did hit it off or something, you know. And um, he he went out to Red Lobster. He spent about eighty dollars on this lady. It's not really his girlfriend. It is somebody he met on Tinder. You know, she was a ten. She was a sister. He was a brother. And then uh, she wanted to go to the uh, she wanted to go to Philadelphia, uh, seventy six. You know, the basketball game. He took her there. Spent money on there. Brought her a a, a hat and a uh, and a. I guess a sweatshirt or something, whatever. He went there, spent all that money on her, and then he took her back and dropped her home to her place. And when he got home, he texted her and said, look, I had a great time tonight. I would love to see you again. When can I see you again? So that's what he told her. She texted and said, I'm not interested. So basically what he did, he raised money. And he was he was mad and pissed off about the cry because he was I said, Ain't no sense being butthurt. You should have just uh, you know, I hope y'all I hope you guys don't laugh at me. I said, Well, this woman not first of all, you just met this lady. She's really not your girlfriend, she's not your woman. Under woman, she'll be you under woman that you should spend money on if your wife and your girlfriend. That's it. That's what I told him. Not not some woman that you met on Tinder, okay? I'm not saying be cheap. I'm saying uh, what I would have done, I would have took a, I would have spent at least twenty dollars, twenty or thirty dollars on something real light. Okay, I can afford to lose twenty or thirty dollars. That's nothing. Okay, that's what I told him. Well, why you told me? I said I told you, but you didn't listen. So now he's butt hurt. So I told him, I said, well, let this be a valuable lesson. Okay, learn. This 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 is a mistake you made. So what do mistake does? It teaches you not to do it again. Okay. Don't do it. Now, some of us do. Some of us do these mistakes over and over. Okay, and we seen don't learn until it hits us in the butt. Okay, so sometimes people got to keep doing these things over and over, make mistakes until they finally get it. Okay, uh, just take for example, somebody you keep telling them stop drinking. You're not eating. Stop drinking. It go. It go eat up your liver, and to the point that it make them sick, where they're vomiting and they're not putting food in their belly. So the doctor tell you, you go to die. You have a maximum heart attack if you don't eat, okay? And let's say a third of they almost die, but the doctor able to uh, bring them back, okay? You can get their breathing back. Basically, this is open up their eyes to let them know, don't do it no more or you go to die. Same thing with a, with, with a, with a guy uh, dealing with a woman whom he don't really know that well and spending all his money for him, on her, okay? So I told him, let this be a viable lesson and don't do it no more, okay? So experience teaches you not to do it again. So I had six people up in the live. I got five people. I had four people now. Now I got four people. I got 13 likes. Leave a like on the video, okay, guys? Amen to that. DD is back in the building. Uh, Laura's got to go, King. Uh, thank you for the stream, sir. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you from staying here the whole time. Uh, watching me talking. <laughs> thank you, Glam Beauty, for coming into the live. And thank you, uh, Martin Slim. Uh, thank you for coming into the live. I appreciate y'all guys. I will be live tomorrow. And uh, I, I get out of I work seven to four. So I, I'll be going live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll be live on Sunday. But Jamaican Girl 123 is going live at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. I don't want to miss her her lie, okay? Uh, if you don't have Jamaican girl, most of you already have her. Uh, uh, she's another good one. Uh, I'm not a moderator for her channel, uh, but she's been checking out my videos. She's been popping in her now and then from time just to say hi. One time she came in. Well, I'll say it, King. Thank you, uh, Glam Beauty. I try to stay positive. I try to tell you guys who uh, deal with young black girls. Uh, you know, not that black girls are bad. Black girls are wonderful. Black women are beautiful. You know, you know, all women are beautiful. Uh, black women are the, are the true king, a true queen. You know, and I was telling them how you know you, you, you gotta be careful how you uh, high glam, how you dealing with these women. Like they will take advantage of you. Okay, just like the video I put out the other day, when a woman will tell you we will see. Basically, what she's telling the guy is, you're not my priority. You're not my first priority. First of all. I'm not interested. 
It's never going to happen. And I got better things to do. That's basically what she's telling you. But she's telling you in a, in a, in a, in a, in a nicer version of it, okay? She's telling you I can do better than you. That's basically what she's saying. And it's not going to happen. Basically, she's telling you no. She's not interested, okay? So we will see me. She also, she can say, well, you know, I don't know. My job wants me to work for overtime. These are excuses that women make, okay? I don't know my job. My, my job wants me to work on um, Thursday, Wednesday, or Friday, or Saturday for some overtime. I'm normally off on, on um, the weekend, but they want me to come in because it's the holiday season, for example. Or it's Saturday. It's busy because it's hot. Or she'll pretend that she's sick. You know, yeah, King Art, yes, that's true. Yeah, I had to have it to me, Glam and uh, Glam Beauty. I had I had a sister live, but guess what? I got her back. I got her back. And let me tell you how I got her. Uh, she uh, she knew I want her. She knew, she knew I want her. I will put her like that. I won't say the word on YouTube because women are watching. She knew I want her. She knew I wanted to tap it. Okay, that's what you want. <laughs> she knew I wanted to tap it, but. Uh, she she um she go oh I don't know um this is what she said with me I'm gonna tell you I can tell y'all she said I don't know uh, my mom cause she had a mom living with her she said I don't know my mom go borrow my car and um I don't know when she gonna come back but guess what I know she was lying okay but I didn't say anything I kept calm I didn't I didn't got butt hurt I didn't got upset I just kept calm and let me tell you before you go she said well I can't go that day because my child want me to work. You know, I said, okay, I refused to offer. And the other one, she said, oh, um, my kids got practice and I don't know when they will be, when they will, when they will be done. I said, okay, that's all right. I said, you know what? Thank you. So I hung the phone up. I wasn't mad. So I said, you know what? I, I know how to deal with her. So I didn't call her. I stopped texting her. I stopped calling her for about three weeks. It went to a month. Bye, King. Bye. King, yes, that's true. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the likes. I'm about ready to get off here myself. Well, I probably let the live run for about a couple minutes uh, until it hit two two hours. Yeah, two hours. Thank you for y'all guys for the 14 likes. All right, and two watching. So, so she go. Oh, I don't know if my son. They got baseball practice. And I don't know when it will be done. Uh, finish the story, King. Yeah, I am. I want you to hear it. Uh, so she go, oh, I don't know. Um, my, my son got baseball practice and I don't know how long the practice is. I said, okay. All right. All right then. Okay, fine. So I stopped calling the lady and she knew I wanted, she was good looking, you know, I stopped calling her. I didn't text her. I didn't call. So a whole month went by 30 days, right? She was trying to outweigh me, but I fixed her. You know, she thought I'm a chaser. I'm a global phone because she knew I want her. When a woman know that you really want her, she has the power. She can make you chase her. But guess what I did? I reversed the switch on her. Right. Another month went by. Sixty days went by. OK, I, I'm, I'm sitting here. I wasn't waiting around. I was, I was on my YouTube. I was exercising, getting my weight down. Another month came by. Ninety days. Yeah. Reverse psychological. Correct. Right. Thank you, Glam Beauty. So let me tell you the story, right? Three months went by. Out of the blue, she calls me 5.30 in the morning. I'm, I'm sleeping. And, and I knew that was her. She she couldn't, she tried, she, 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 instead of her calling me from her number so I could see her name, she called me from a restricted number. No one never called me from a restricted number. That was her. That was her. So I didn't answer. I let it rain. I went to voicemail. Hi, I want to know what's going on. You haven't called me for, for for three months. I hope everything is okay. Uh, I, I know you. Uh, I know you wanted to go out with me, and I and I and I shot you down. This is her now. This is her, not me. And I shot you down. I'm sorry. I hope you're not mad, and um, I hope we can still look. Uh, if you're not busy, uh, can we go out? Can we go out? And I, I set a date for, and I set up a date for you, and all the stuff right here. It's all right. So I'm listening to the voicemail. I said, you know what? What goes around comes around. Correct. Correct, Glam Beauty. And I got her back. I didn't, I, I wouldn't butt her. I wasn't upset that she said no and all that. What goes around comes around. Metalhead666. Hey, man, leave a like up in the video. Let me finish telling my story and I get back with you. Leave a like. So, Glam Beauty. So she go, oh, yeah, you know, I, I like you too, but uh, I wasn't sure. I had other guys 
uh, uh, talking to me, and, and I wasn't sure where they were heading at. All the thing I can think in my mind was this why this lady didn't want to give me a, a chance because she was talking to other guys. So that's why I tell guys when you see a, a 10, a woman looks good, you better rest assured that other guys are talking to her, okay? That don't mean she's sleeping with her. That means she's probably going out with them, dating them, and she probably counseling what a woman would do. Even if she did schedule a, a date with you, if she really liked that dude, she would cancel the date with you and go out with him. And I think that would happen to me. Her problem was she didn't want to go out, so she made excuses, okay? So let me tell you what happened, right? Oh, you know, I had all these guys after me, and I, and I wasn't sure. I really do like you. You're a sweet person. Uh, uh, but I hope you're not mad at me. I hope we can go out on this date, you know, and uh, we can go out the next day if you want to and the rest of the week. So I waited. I waited. I really did hurt you. I waited. I waited another additional three weeks because I want her to see how it felt, right? So she called me. She called me every day. Hi, it's Keisha. Hi. Um, uh, I hope you're okay. NP, how you doing? Hi. Uh, leave a like in the video. I'm telling a story to Glam Beauty. Uh, I'm, I'm telling her what happened to a lady who, who played me. All right, give me a minute. So she goes, oh, you know, uh, I hope we can go out still. I haven't heard from you. It's been three weeks after the, 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 the nine days. Can you please talk to me? So she kind of knew where I lived at. You know what this lady did? Hey, Color Girl TV. What's good, my dear? What's good? What's good? A uh, Glam Beauty is in the house. Thank you, Color Girl. If y'all don't have Color Girl TV, grab her and grab her, uh, grab Glam Beauty. I'm telling um, Glam Beauty about a story about a lady that I was interested in and how she kept making excuses. And she, she, she really didn't want to go out with me. So I was telling uh, Glam Beauty how I overcame her. Uh, I used verse psychological. Uh, to her, and and now she began to text and call and blew up my phone. This is a ten you're talking about. You look at me, you say, "Man, you're not handsome. Why would you want to go out with a woman that's a ten? She's a she she was a sister. She knew I wanted her, and she knew I wanted to tap it. Okay, so she 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 was playing. She wasn't playing hard to get. She just didn't want to go out with me. So that's what that's basically what it was. So um, so what I did, she oh, you know, I've been I hadn't heard from you for a while. And I, and I hope we can. You know, I hope you didn't delete my number. I call you from a, a restricted number, but you didn't answer. So this additional three weeks, because I want her to see how it is. Okay, how to ignore some of the phone call, because I was blowing her phone up, but I didn't know better at the time. So then that's how I learned now not to blow up women's phone. Okay, that's why I don't put women on pedestal. Now if I call you beautiful, that's because you're a generous person. I'm being generous. And, you know, and I kind of like that comfortable talking to you and going into your life or whatever. OK, that's different. All right. But, she go, oh, yeah, you know, um, you know, I hope we are you still with her, King Art? No, I, I, I stopped. I stopped talking to her for a while. She called me to her today and I didn't, I didn't pick up. I didn't pick up. She's a she's a cute girl. She's, she's a very pretty black girl. Very pretty. She don't wear makeup. She kind of like you and um, call a girl. She don't wear makeup. She she does a, she keep her hair nice long and black, and, and she's about five eight. Yeah, she's 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 a she's a she's a definition of a bad chick. Uh, she probably not got a boyfriend. Last time I, I talked to her, and that was it. She she was dating some some dude, some dude from New Haven. Um, you know who don't have all his stuff together. I don't know. I guess that means finance, and and he had a car, but he lost his car or something. I don't know. She always complained about it, so I stopped talking to her. But I, after that, I stopped talking to her. So, yeah. So she called me the other day, and I didn't pick up. Yeah, she still tried to go out. I went out with her a couple of times, but now I got I got tired of her and stopped. But anyway, so, oh, yeah, you know, um, I like to go out with you. I'm not dating nobody right now. I don't know. You got, Tell me what you want. You want, you want. you want us to date? Or you want us to be a uh, boyfriend girlfriend? So I, I just listened to all the, the text messages and stuff like that, and the voicemail. I say some of them. One day I might load them up here and let y'all listen to them, okay? But I don't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that to her, even though she was being difficult. I didn't want to put it on YouTube because I wouldn't want nobody to do that. So that's why I, I didn't do that, okay? I don't want her to feel that. I don't want her to feel that she can't trust me. So I just. I just delete most of them off my phone. 
But anyway, let me tell you. Oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, um, I know where you live at. If you mind, if I come over your house, uh, I, I text you and let you know I'm coming. So I said, all right. Okay. So I text her. I said, if you for real, that's what I told her, then come over. And I text, if you're not for real, then stay the hell away from me. That's basically what I told her. You know, I don't usually curse, but I, that's what I told her. So she read it and she said, okay, all right. You know, like that. And then she came over. And just sometimes you got to give women tough love. I'm not, I'm not saying put your hand on a woman. That's, I don't do that. Okay. Sometimes you got to show a little tough love and say, hey, if you're not real, then stay over there where you at. You know, you can do like, you don't have to do like I did. I just did it because she was being difficult. Okay. So you can say, no, if you're not real, stay. Don't waste my time and your time. And that's it. Very short and simple. Make your text messages very short and simple. Okay. You don't need to, you don't need to uh, do a, a six page part, uh, uh, of text messages. Okay. So she came over and she came over with some, uh, some food. And she said, oh, I brought, I went to a, a Buffalo Wild Wing. I know you like the Wayne, so I know them your favorite. And I brought this, and I brought you a bottle of water. I know you don't drink uh, soda. I said, yeah, thank you. So she basically brought me supper or whatever that was. Came over. She sat down at the table and everything. We sat down and eat. And she came sat in the chair. And then, so I ate. And I said, we want to sit at the table? She said, yeah. So I sat down. And she, she sat next to me. Yeah, she sat next to me. And then she got closer. And I said, what are you doing? I said, you know you don't want to sit next to me. Stop, stop playing. Stop, 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 stop. You know, I told her that. She said, oh, now you don't want, now that I'm here, you work hard to get me. Now you don't want to be next to me? I said, no. I said, oh, I, said I know you say, are you real? Then be real. Don't fake because you try to make me happy, okay? I don't like that, okay? And I told her, I was just starting something with her to see how she can take it. Basically, what I was doing, I was shit testing her. I was giving her a test, see if she would get an attitude and get up and walk away, okay? That's how guys shit test women, okay? All right? Women shit test men too. That's why women be pressing all the right button, and men, some men can't take it because they're a little, they're pull me baby, okay? They're always whining and crying. But she didn't she didn't do that because she was a high-value chick. That's, she, had, she had a lot of guys after her, behind her. So I told her, stop, stop, stop. You, you know you don't mean to be next to me. You're just playing around, trying to get me, uh, make me think I have a chance. But you know what? That's why I did what I did because I want you to feel what I went through and I got her back. So now she know not to do that shit again to the next person. You know, or the next, uh, uh, I'm not saying I'm handsome, but uh, she, she know not to do that to the next ugly man. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let me stop. Or whatever. Or man who, uh, who, Seems like she's not into him. So that's how you handle. Uh, she basically was a tension whore. That's what she was. Okay. Uh, that just don't mean she likes to sleep with guy. It just basically she used him for validation. So she got me. Okay. She got me. She and she did use me for attention, and she did it well. And you know, and I, I basically know. I basically learned some stuff from her too. And she learned some stuff from me. You know. But yeah, I, you know, I, you know, she wanted to talk to me earlier, and I ignore her. She called me for Valentine's Day, and I ignored her. You know, you know, I, I don't want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? And I used to call her. She's a mother. She got two kids. She got two boys. Uh, when Mother Day come around, I do call her and or I text her and say, "Have a Mother Day." I at least give her that. You know, because she is a mother. So I, I won't ignore when Mother Day come around. I won't ignore her to say, "Hey, have a Mother Day." And then she said, "Same to you." When Christmas come, she said, "Merry Christmas to you and your son." Even though I got two stepdaughters, but she always uh, say, Merry Christmas to you and your son. And then when Thanksgiving comes, she'll say, uh, thank, Happy Thanksgiving. When the New Year's come, Happy New Year. Uh, last time I talked to her was three weeks ago. She called me while I was on my, on my work. And uh, it was a Saturday. I think I told y'all in one of my videos. And um, I was at, I just finished my meal. I had a, a, a nice salad and a bottle of water. And uh, she, uh, she goes, well, hello, where you been? I said, working? No, I was talking to her. I talked to her. She talked to me about an hour. An hour. While I'm working, I'm taking care of customers. She's talking on the phone, right? So she goes, oh, uh, you know, I, I haven't seen you. You want to go out? I said, when? Today when I got out of work. I said, I got to go home. And uh, she said, I got to go home. And I got to go home and uh, uh, drop my kids off to the father house. And then I got to take my shower. And I. Uh, my hair is already done. My pedicure is done. 
but she always keep that up. She's a mayor care. And um, she said, oh, I got to do all that. And she said, what time you get up? I said, okay, why you want to know? So I was just playing with her. Oh, okay, you got jokes, right? I said, yeah, I get out at 4 o'clock. And, and I answer them. I said, well, you got to give me you gotta give me a chain because I don't live in Waterbury. I live in New Britain, Connecticut. I go way home and I got to take a shower, put on my best jeans and my, my nice um, sh- shoes and, you know, button down top, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, give me a chance, okay? And I'll come and pick you up at your house. She said, okay. So she picked me up. I pick her at her house. And then, um, and I, t- I, I didn't ask her. I don't put the thing in her hand of where we should go. I do it on my own. But as a man, I feel you should lead. Now, I'm not saying that she don't have a, a, an idea where to go to eat at. But a man should know where you want to go at. Because women like this when a guy take lead. Okay? Take the bull by the horn. And that's what that guy messed up at. You know, he messed up. Okay? That's why he became butthurt. So I told her, I said, well, you feel like eating um, Texas Roadhouse? She said, ah, oh, nasty. Sorry. I said, how about TV Friday? She said, okay, we can go there. So I went to TV Friday, took her there and eat. We sat down, we talked. And, um, and then after that, she said, you want to sit on the side? Or you want to I said, no, I, I don't need to sit by you. I need to sit on that side. We need to face one another. She said, oh, you don't want to sit by me? I said, no, that's not I don't want to sit by you. I like, to, I like to just look at you while I'm eating. I like to face you. I like to see who I'm talking to, okay? So I sat over there and talked to her. So while we eating, I'm, she's she flirting while I'm eating, you know. So like that, and then she grabbed my hand, I grabbed her hand, you know, like that. So, you know, just playing with her, I'm playing with her. So after that, we I paid for the dinner. I didn't know how to pay for it, paid for the dinner. Then drove her back. We sat in the car at her place. Glam Beauty. Night, brother. Hey man, leave a like in the video. I'm sitting here telling my story to Glam Beauty and Call It Girl TV. Are you still with her? No, I'm not with her, uh, uh, Glam Beauty. Uh, we was, I started out with a friend with her. I met her through my son and mother. They were, but they were best friend. And then, um, how I met her was I was at a grocery store. I'm gonna finish telling you the story. I, I was at a grocery store, I think I was at a stopping shop, and um, I was getting some, um, some fruits. And um, she came up to me and she, she tapped me on the shoulder like that. And I'm looking around. You know who I am? I say, uh, I think I do. I say, ain't you Keisha? Secret Life of Andrew. Hey, bro, how you doing? Leave a like in the video. Can you stay at least a couple minutes? I know it's very late. Can you stay at least a couple minutes? I'm trying to get the watch hours up, but also I'm telling my story to everybody. Thank you for very much. Uh, if you don't have Color Girl TV, check her out. Uh, she's one of a kind. If you don't have Glam Beauty, she uh, magnificent. Okay, check them out. They're both are here for the YouTube community to help you grow. If you need more friends, I will call. They will help you out, okay? Uh, they will play your playlist, okay? Uh, you just gotta let them know what you want, okay? What your goal is, but they're here for you, okay? If they're in the blue, I didn't originally say this, but Loco Coco original had created this, this quote. If they're blue, they are for you, okay? So check them out. Leave a decent comment in the video before you click that red button. Okay, where they can stick like oatmeal, otherwise, you'll lose them. Okay, and uh, watch a few more videos if you have to play the playlist, do so. Okay, so anyway, I met her at um, yeah, you always got the pretty girl on your chat. I see what you are doing, yeah. Well, you know, I'm not a player, <laughs> but they are pretty. Glam Beauty is pretty, Color Girl is pretty. Uh, Jamaican Girl uh, 123 comes by. It's basically how you, you know, I'm not bragging about it, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not that good looking. I don't claim to be that good looking. I'm just me. I'm loyalty. Uh, you know, when my wife saw me, she said, uh, you know, uh, when I was actually, when I was dating, when I was talking to my wife, my wife was talking to another guy. Yeah, she was talking to another guy. I don't know how serious it was, but I ended up taking him, taking her away from him because I got it like that. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, he, she she actually did. And then, um, I just went. In, I went on and I just did my thing. I, you know, I, I spit that game at her. That's what you gotta do, you know. Uh, I, when I spit the game at her, I didn't lie to her. Okay, I, I've been honest with her. I said, "Hey, look, if you real, I'm real. Okay, we're not playing no, we're not playing no uh, playhouse here, right?" So let me tell you the story. She she tapped me on the shoulder, and I said, "Yeah, I know who you are. You you kids used to hang out with uh, my my girlfriend, my son's mother." She said, yeah. 
She's like, so, because me and my son's mother had broke up. And she was like, how you feeling? How you feel about the breakup? I said, oh, it's just like anything else. Some things last forever and some things don't. What am I going to do? I'm gonna, what, what am I going to do? Just to move move on. You know what I'm saying? I can't worry about it. I can't fix it. I can't make her stay with me if she don't want to be with me. So I learned to move on. So, And as I was talking to her, she said, listen, don't be a stranger. Um, she said, here's my phone number. Um, whenever you feel like calling, call, okay? Uh, she didn't say when I can call. She just said when I feel like calling, call. I said, all right, I'm going to call her today. So she didn't say when. I didn't ask her when, I, when should I call. I call her. I called her within 48 hours. I waited two days before I called her because I didn't want her to seem like I was desperate. Okay? That's how you do it. Okay? So I called her, and she picked up. She said, this is Arthur? I said, yeah, this is, this is Arthur. How you doing? So I said, I wouldn't tell you why I would call you, but I did. Oh, so, uh, uh, what I think, I believe where I messed up at, I should have told her when I, was, when I was having feeling for her, I should have told her how I felt. You know, maybe I wouldn't end up in the situation, but I'm kind of glad it did happen like that because it showed that uh, I can do what she did, okay, and I can make her uh, um, follow me as I follow her. And um, I did verse psychological to her because that's what she was doing to me. She was making me chasing her and following her, so I did it back to her. Now she know how it is, and to do that to the next person. So I let her know that hey, you're not the only one, that can, only one can do this type of type of uh, psychological thing, you know, I just reverse psychological to her, okay? Uh, you always have got the pretty girls on your chat. I see what you're doing. Yeah, man, it just that, uh, I got so much stuff I got to share with you guys. I got I got a non-live video that I already uh, edited, uh, how it teaches a man or go step by step telling the man how to appreciate a woman not just a woman but the woman the woman okay and it just the I, i'm not going to tell you all of it because if i tell you now i'm going to spoil it all right so you'll know when i upload it as a premiere video basically what that is uh it will be set up where it will start within 10 minutes and i'm gonna leave the chat open so you can comment down below while you are watching it okay if you have any questions. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. I got some MKX video I had added today. Uh, I put my name underneath the video so it won't get stolen because I did have a couple of my stuff stolen one time. And um, it was, that's when I first started YouTube. And I did a 48% striker uh, combo and someone stole it. And then I had to get YouTube to, to YouTube had uh, removed the channel. <sighs> Yeah. Then you know who y'all know who contacted me today? B N O Outdoors. Uh, he wanted me to be a moderator for his channel. Uh, I feel I find out why I couldn't go on his channel. Uh, it must be one. Uh, it must be one of his moderators. You know what he texted me? I think he he contacted me on my on my my Jack combo, the sixty five percent, the biggest meter X ray. Uh, uh, meter combo. He said, "Hey man, it's it's being old." He said, uh, "I would like for you to be a mo a modder, a modder." I said, "Okay." And he said, "Seems like I, he's I like, wouldn't check my playlist." He said, "Someone block you on my on my channel." I said, "Okay, thank for letting me know. No hard feelings." So he unblocked me. So he want me to be a moderator uh, for his channel. So being old outdoors wanted me to be a moderator. See, I don't go around asking people to be a moderator, but I think when people see you are loyalty. And and uh, responsible, they do a lot to have you on their uh, channel as a mod. Okay, I think that's what it is. So the story was, uh, I, I went, I took her back. I got off the subject. I'm sorry. I took her back to her home, and uh, we sat in the car, and we talked. I talked. I did like I did some intimate talk. I didn't want to just be friendly talk because when you do friendly talk with women, it, it makes you seem that you're not you're not you're not serious. So you want, when you do infinite talk, that means kind of like being nasty, but also be, be be careful how you do it. You don't want to overdo it, okay? Kind of be nasty and say, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some kiss today. So I kind of say it like that. To her. She said, you, you, you want me to kiss you? No, she kind of, oh, okay, yeah. I said, yeah, why not? So I was, basically I was testing her to see if she said yes or no, right? Good. I said, yeah, okay. I kiss you. 
So she, uh, you know, she it was it wasn't a lip. It wasn't. It was kind of like a lip kiss. Then was then was a wet kiss. She did a wet kiss. So that's how I know. I said, okay, I got you now. So once you get a woman to kiss you, you got her. Okay. So she gave me a wet kiss, and we kissed. And we we made out in the car for about about an hour. Okay. This is a girl that put me in the friend zone. This is a girl who was telling me, oh, we would see. That's why I made a video about uh, we would see. Hi, King. I am so sleepy. I enjoy being in your life. Okay, good night. Yeah, I don't want to bore you. If you're sleepy, go to bed. Uh, Color Girl TV, I know you did, You haven't been feeling good. I got to go to bed, too, because I got to go to work early in the morning. I got to go to work at 7 o'clock, and I got to be there. I can't be late. Uh, but good night, uh, Glam Beauty. Thank you for coming in. I got one person lagging. That probably Call a Girl TV. I got two people watching. Uh, thank you, Glam Beauty guy. If you don't have Glam Beauty, check her out. Okay, check out NPHI. Check out uh, uh, Call a Girl TV. It's a must, must, must. Check out Glam Beauty. She's a must, must, must. Okay. Good night, uh, uh, Glam Beauty. Thank you for coming in, and I appreciate you. Uh, Color Girl TV, that's my girl. Thank you for coming in, uh, checking out the live. I appreciate you. Uh, you was in b &O Outdoor Live and Fun Fanatic. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, like I said, I won't go let this run for it's about three hours, but I, I, I'm trying to accumulate my watch hours uh, so I can get monetized and everything, and plus adding my videos as well. Okay, so I got two watching. If you're in here, Leave a comment down below. Can I get a 19 like, if you will? Help a brother out, okay? Let's help one another out. It's not all about uh, just getting a certain amount of people, but let's grow and let's help out one another. Let's watch one another's channel, okay? So I'm going to be out of here because I've been live for two hours in 11 minutes and 30 seconds, okay? I got one watching, 18 likes. Thank you all. Two just came back in watching tonight. And here's my favorite quote to everybody that I come on live, okay? If you love Jesus and you love his word, you stay in Jesus' word every day in it. Uh, it's a good day because you know why? Jesus, Jehovah, is the living word, okay? So uh, stay in God's word. You stay in God's word, uh, even with problems, because he is the living word. Uh, that's that's basically my uh, my speech that I, I'm going to use for now at the end of my uh, live cast, okay? So I've been live for two hours, 12 minutes, and 13 seconds, okay? I got two people watching. I see two keep, I see one going in and out. And it shows that I got two. So thank you so much for coming in. Uh, leave a like up on the video, even if the live had ended. Leave a like on the video, okay? Uh, share the live, and I'm out of here because I'm sleepy. I hope to see y'all tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow at 6 uh, p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live on um, Sunday morning. And I I go live again at Sunday again. Then I go live Monday for, a, for about five hours. And then I go live again for Monday night. Then I go live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I start all over again, okay? Until I get my watch hours up, all right? But I have a non recorded video I gotta upload to and a bunch of combos. Okay. Thank you guys for coming in. Have a good night. I see you tomorrow at 6 uh, p.m. tomorrow, uh, Eastern Time. Okay. And I love you. Bye.